Are we good? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Blood and Sand. Where we left off last time, the party had very carefully laid out an ambush for the draconic ruler of the city of Distoon in an attempt to see if they could cleanse the corruption that had seemingly taken hold of her. With some aid from some surprise and otherwise unsurprising arrivals of friends, um, they managed to subdue the uh, dragon after using, of all things, aid from Crumblebottom to lure her from the city. They managed to subdue her guard and then subdue her using the mixture of the dragon orbs, the dragon stone, and um, use of a dragon slaying longsword, which the sheer threat of when presented with the other item was enough to ward her off, and she surrendered. We ended last session with Alistair getting off the dragon, and Aeon Soul holding the dragon slaying longsword to his mother's throat. And that's where we left off last session. So, what do you guys do? I immediately start searching around to find any shards of broken teeth. Make I have my reputation. Check. I have my reputation to think about. Ignore I... the fact that I made a bite attack with a natural dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> he has a new totally to not coming. He has a new toy to play with. I did not have advantage. Six. Oh dear. You don't find only it. dragons were my favourite enemy. <laughs> you don't find any dragon teeth laid about. Shit. It's not like anyone was, you know, ballsy enough to punch a dragon. <laughs> Fish, I thought about it though. <laughs> Banish me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> let me at her. Let me at her. I'll, I'll punch the goddamn tooth out of goddamn mouth. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here and keep concentrating on this because eh. You can move while concentrating. <laughs> I don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice and hidden. <laughs> I would uh, like to stand up for the oh first yeah. time in a while. Grunt, <laughs> take the take the scene, take front point, go. <laughs> yeah, I would like to stand up. That's all I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> need to redeem myself by actually being able to stand. I'm back. Oh bitches. yeah, yeah, you're still paralyzed. <laughs> the paralyzation would wear off after ten minutes, but we'll say yes. that essentially someone uses a form of restoration on you to get you back up. Because Scylla, as you may remember from the previous evening, did in fact immediately... It took him a minute, but he cast out a spell that awoke five trees around him into treants that then began to move along the terrifying individual that is Bertok and her Draconic. Okay, so we're going to take her to where um, Slarlac was. <clears throat> Seems like the best place. That was the original suggestion. We're going to need probably lots of iron um, to fabricate some chains. <clears throat> what do you say, fabricate? <laughs> if only we had a blacksmith. I'm taking the safety off you for an hour. <laughs> you have an hour. Don't well, make me regret it. We have to get her there. We have to get her there first. Silla. That's, that's gonna take a while. Tree, aren't Treants, Treants already carrying her? Yeah. Treants basically have her by neck and the limbs. If you've ever seen someone move a crocodile. Ah. Yes. Of Basically course you that. have. Oh, yeah, of, of course the event's done. Probably got his own pet version of it. <laughs> I mean, we got like three in the backyard. Uh, they're not supposed to be there, but they're there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's then best it not Bruce, to Bruce linger. Uh, Grunt will help the tree ants carry said dragon. Okay, Grunt does not help them carry the dragon. <laughs> she gets to carry the tail tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a procession. I, I, <laughs> Grunt barely lifts the tail tip because this is a very large dragon and it's more cumbersome in regards to size. You can't just look at something, guess the weight, and go, this is liftable. 
I didn't think I'd help much. I was think I wasn't going to carry the whole dragon. Obviously, it's because I've got four Knowing three grunts, ants helping fucking, me. I can... No five. Five. Yeah. One has well. her by the mouth. Two have her by the torso, and two have her then by the lower side, and one, one, and then the leg as well. Or the tail is essentially also being held by them. While the swords to her throat, and the orb is focused on her. I think oh, also. I need to have a long rest before I can. <laughs> As he's like, you don't say. In the dirt. <laughs> Help me. My ego is dripping into the dirt. Long rest, I please. Cannot feel my I, can't, I, can't, I can't fabricate into a long rest. <laughs> I think it's probably best if we all stand here near Yanero for safety purposes. Now let's let's move. I don't want to stay here. As a ranger, would I know that treants do or don't like being like climbed in? Make a nature check. Do I have advantage? Do you proficient with fucking treants? <laughs> no! Proficient with nature? <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> you can probably proficient with you fuck! If you find out, let- oh god. <laughs> Please let me know because I did accidentally climb one. <laughs> it's, it's- I very... knew a treant called Barry! <laughs> <laughs> it varies from treant to treant. <laughs> Like people, because these are sentient creatures. Nine times out of ten, though, as so long as you're not using an axe or anything to drag yourself up on top of them, they might be chill with it. And as well as you're not a heavy bastard. Make my way up through the tree ants as they're like carrying the dragon, moving up to the front and telling each one of them, That's "Such a good fight! I managed to take down a white the silver dragon. It's so cool!" Did you see me? Did you see me hitting it right at the front of the start? Did you see me hitting it? I'm Underneath you, you just hear. I can hear you. You know. <laughs> Sight <Sorry>, check. <laughs> actually, make a perception check. Mm. That might actually be better for me. <laughs> Both me and Naren simultaneously go. We have a passive perception. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, Twenty-five. I have an perception of eighteen. <laughs> I see some. I don't see the <laughs> dice that he's rolling there. I have to make sure I get her stat line up. <clears throat> um, you actually see that she. One of her claws is just moving in a circular motion. You see this little bit of a shimmer around the actual effect of it, like very slightly, like underneath one of the trees burrows that's lifting her up. It's like, you know, being carried and hiding it kind of thing. She just has the claw inward and it's just circularly moving something there. Moving something in her, in her claw. More like, more like she's moving her finger and there's just like this magical circle kind of like around that area where she's moving it, like she's doing something with it. I don't, don't trust, trust like that. that. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, where, who's who's around us? Like, is everyone? Yeah, so up everyone's. Us? I presume everyone's moving. Yeah, I'd assume we're all together yeah. now at this point. I'm gonna draw a uh, notch and arrow, as they call it, notch and arrow. See, learning the lingo. Uh, notch and arrow. Uh, I'm gonna knock. point it out to. Um, is it knock? I thought it was notch. It's not notch. Yeah, that's what I said. Notch and arrow. Uh, and I'm going to point it out to Scylla because I don't really, I don't really know magic. Well, I can't count a spell, so someone had better. Okay, well, I'll just cast silence on her head. Shimmer. Can't mm -hmm. spell. Mm, can spell. Okay. okay, roll a d20. Add your casting modifier. I was on the guy doing Twitch page, I'm like, why isn't my screen working? <laughs> why can't I roll on this chat? Why is everything purple? Why am I hearing myself twice? I need to set that up right. <coughs> can you set that up to roll at the same time? Yeah, I probably can, I just... Uh, I think you just so. haven't. <laughs> Oh. oh! Tonight is the night. They'll tell the story of tonight. 
fuck that magic. <laughs> fuck that magic. You you see that she's casting out something, and it's not like um, something that she's trying to say cast and then release like a spell, but it's more like something she's focusing on trying to maintain. And you just raise out the hand, and you actually just disperse that magic. And as you do that, Alice, you then cast silence on her head. So now within twenty feet of her head is essentially a no talk zone, <clears throat> including where you are currently, because you are in that spell effect. So you're just there going. Oh, I'm gonna move towards the tail end. <laughs> okay. Back it up, back it off down to the to the tail tail tree and tail you get tree. like down to her. You get down to like lower back of her, and that's where the silence ends. Oh, it is knocking an arrow. Huh. Hmm. I learned something there. Knock, 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 knocking on arrows. <laughs> Your friend shouldn't have played a bar. Right. I'd probably actually be, be, be better at it if I was actually care. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, what's um, the highest pass perceptions are Delmar and Buckley, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. 25. How about, how about you give me an active perception check? <laughs> gonna, I was going to drop down to the tail end and I was going to drop a... Um, and a pass without trace isn't the same as like dust to trace is it? What? No, <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm scared. You should be. No, no. <laughs> you're fo you're more like to the back inside of her as you're all moving her, this large convoy. And you've managed to move about maybe three hundred feet, four hundred feet with her because the trains are moving her and she is a large creature. But you're noticing back where the battle was had. You're just noticing, because it was such a lush green forest and such heavy vegetation. You're just noticing, like, like how on a, um, inside in a science lab, if you may say, put ink out and it goes into a leaf to look at the actual uh, veins of a leaf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what he did? Shout out the game team. He wrote it out and put it up on the screen. I didn't say so, that because I was typing. That's okay. Um, so, you've noticed that essentially they're starting to blacken. The leaves are at the very edges of the leaves in that grove that you fought in. And I'll take you back down. Okay. Also, um, noticeably, the temperature has dropped by maybe 10 degrees, but you'd be the first one to notice the shift, and maybe like 2 or 3 degrees, or then 4, because mm -hmm. it was easy to say, treated like how it is currently, it's like 20 degrees, it just dropped to 15, kind of thing, but then it will drop to 10, and that will be noticeable, but you notice it first. Okay. Back up. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we need to keep moving at a quicker pace if we can, and uh, I point out to Scylla what I've noticed. He pointed out, he looks back towards it, and for the sake of it, anyone who wants to make an inside check on Scylla, go ahead. Sure. Okay, for to go, I'm not hopeful. I know all the things. <laughs> That's four. Four in as many minutes. Four natural twenties. This happened last session as well. Well, if it makes you guys feel any better, Scylla rolled a 12 minus two. He's not charismatic. He's blood as a hammer. <laughs> That's fair, actually. Um, Because he's trying to hide that he has an immediate strike of fear in his chest. Bollock. Can we move quicker, please? Right now. No, 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 no. no. Uh, he points back, and you see that all the, all the trees that were back in the grove where you fought, all of the leaves, like see the very tips of the leaves now spreading inward, have all just began going blackened. And Boy. the actual temp, and the actual temperature here, has now by this point dropped like from twenty degrees to about ten. Undead, Buckley. Uh, keep no time to ask. Keep moving. Whatever it is, it's not good if Scylla's afraid. Uh, Buckley, do you want to get like a some sort of undead protection just in case? Keep is there anything you can do? Whatever you do, do it as we move. Keep going. 
I'm in the tree. I'm in the tree and I move at their speed. Gr Grunt's already carrying one fiftieth of this dragon as far as she can. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have freedom of movement? <laughs> Scylla does actually, and he casts it on the train. <laughs> yes! Buckley and Shimmer have freedom of speech! <laughs> Scylla, they can also by... fly! <laughs> as if by some divine will, or like just like this primal nature, Scylla is just urging the creatures forward with just like a yelp, almost like a, like a beastmaster would. And it's just almost like whipping yeah. them, and they're just going just full speed and as you guys are all moving he just waves out this massive s circle with his hand and you can just notice this like fairy fire and dust all around the hand as he goes he strikes it forward towards where you guys were uh, previously in that grove and just dryads centaurs all these creatures just beasts and fey creatures alike and he just bolts with you I'm going to reach down and help people up onto the treants who are probably striding for quite fast. Yeah, the treants currently are moving disturbingly quick for some th creatures as big as they are, carrying the load that they are. And, <clears> um, <throat> yeah. Grab my hand! Grab my hand! No! Not grunt! Don't grab my hand! <laughs> You'll pull me out! <laughs> no! Uh, if, 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 I can, if I can't keep up with the treants, I'll just um, hop on the tail and ride it. Yeah, essentially at this point they're moving like riding horses almost, just like at a full dash. I'm pretty sure Groot can keep up with that. <laughs> Actually, no, they move at 50 at a normal and 100 uh, at a dash. Yeah, so they're just going. So, like so after <laughs> like, maybe... Like, uh, just trying to get on the, the, the tail end of the train. Just <laughs> In that case, I will grab Alistair's hand, because I didn't think they were moving that quick. Oh no, like, Scylla just moves him into a massive frenzy, almost, and he himself changes, and he's this form of this um, l huge white um, stag that's next to all of them, and it's just, he then just moves to the front of them, and just where there will be such heavy shrubbery and terrain to actually move through, it just parts for him. See, and they just, and they all move through, and the forest part uh, closes them behind as they go. So you guys and... should always listen to the ranger in these situations. I know the quickest way through a forest. It's on tree. <laughs> I've told you before the best way to travel is by tree. Um, as well, what you guys can notice uh, on Scylla is that he's got all these runes down his back but they've all got I'll say from the elves of the group that you're able to actually associate them with some fey creatures. Oh. So you're able to associate a dryad uh, symbol, symbol for a centaur, symbol for this, for that. And Honk me to bonk me. Why has he got that one? <laughs> <laughs> I slap Alistair on the back of the head. <laughs> no, sorry. It's Sylvan. I can't read that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to <clears throat> hit identify on the dragon. See if there's any spells on it oh. currently. Uh, Clever. It's definitely a silver dragon. <laughs> and identify. Bam. Identify can determine spells Bang. on the creature, can it? Yeah. yeah. Currently, it's under the effect of silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yeah, it is uh, under the effect of silence currently. Yeah, if you instead touch a creature throughout the casting, you learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Yeah. Currently, it has the silence of spell casting on a piece of it. Um, the thing is, though, the dragon is actually larger than the warding of Yanero. There is oh. a scrying spell on her. Oh! Uh... And mm. at this point, this is maybe ten minutes into your, like, mad dash, you notice that on Scylla's back, not, like, say, very slowly, or... It's just a sudden... <laughs> all the markings just start dropping. Just... Oh god, we need to do something. Uh... Shimmer, do you know Polymorph? Do I look like I know Polymorph? I don't know, that's why I'm asking! Is it a fire bear spell? Does it... So, when you say the things are disappearing from his back, are those likely to be the dryads and what and fey creatures that he had before behind us? Potentially. Potentially. You've noticed that whenever you say, for example, in his bear form, when he had a lightning storm active, that there was, like, thunder cracks down his arm. 
so he's he is in tune with the forest and the creatures that he summons. Uh, okay, so what, what do we think? Dropping then? like flies. Do we start? Do we stand and fight, or do we run fast? I don't think whatever it is we should fight, but I don't know what to do. I don't have any magic. If it's undead related, which I think it might be, this could be something that Barkley would be better at. He could at least ward us from them, keep them away from us. Well, you may I have be feeling you may be feeling fine, but a couple of people are not feeling fine. I don't think another fight is what we need. Uh -huh. well, I have a part of a plan, but I don't think much people like it. Okay. Why what is me, it? That burn the forest down behind us. No, I don't think that's no. going to help. That's going to clear the that's... path. Remind me. Um, I believe that uh, I've got this horn that's specifically designed to call the forest people. Could I help our druid friend rally uh, the armies by blowing on it? Or... You can blow your you own certainly horn. certainly try. You could I, will, horn. I will blow the war horn. Yeah, you will blow, blow the war horn of Old Fortune. Uh, in doing so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that just continues out for literally your lung capacity is just that one massive note. And behind you, you just see trees that were like bridging up just begin shifting and moving <laughs> smaller shrubberies begin rising up and dryads moving out it seems like you're able to actually within the forest with this warhorn actually animate creatures around you okay. and you know it's essentially the equivalent of um what you would see in a forest fire scene from a movie where beasts are running except any beast that was and what's something that you realize quickly beasts were running away from where you were running from. Now they turn around and are running that way towards that thing. That may buy us time, but that doesn't deal with the situation. I assume that Buckley has told us what he's learned. Uh, there's a scrying spell. <laughs> <laughs> Class A role playing there. <laughs> he just turns just like dead just like There's a scrying spell. <laughs> that is all. Okay. And, and if she's too even, big, if she's too big even, for the range, we have to change her size somehow. Uh, sure. Let's start sticking her in the bag hole. And, I don't oh, know wait. how magic works. Okay, I am not a spellcaster. I'm Look, looking at this. Your dad and your mom is. Shut up. <laughs> she's not a daddy or a mommy's girl. She's a girl. I will push you off this tree. But I am going to keep try. blowing this horn and just keep rallying the troops while these people have this argument and just help hope for the best. <laughs> Okay. Right, after, slowly turning blue. After the second time that you, <laughs> after the second time that you blew this horn, the third time I need you to roll a d20. Oh, oh god. <laughs> that that means there will be consequences. That means it could break. Sorry to blow my own horn. I don't remember him warning me about charges or anything. Well, <laughs> they didn't. didn't warn there. <laughs> Consider this your warning. You notice that up the actual like, it's. It was essentially the horn of a massive forest creature that had been cut and uh, um, um, hollowed out for this purpose. But you're noticing up along the actual um, the actual horn itself, it's just this very thin, like almost um, a hairline crack. Ooh. Okay, I'll stop that for the second time then. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just looking at the spellcasters, just being like, can either of you do anything? Well, we're being chased, so we either double time it or we stand and fight. Those are your two options. You don't, don't want to fight, so we need to we need to book it. But we need to think where do we take them because how long does scrying last? You don't know. <laughs> Looks at the spellcasters. Why, That's why I'm asking. Scrying. How does long anybody does it have last? dispel magic? It lasts up to ten minutes. Up to ten minutes. Can we outrun whatever is following us for ten minutes? The tree. Apparently, you're doing it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how good their endurance. Uh, I don't know how Can anyone dispel? Is. What's that? Um, I, I know I can change my list of prepared spells whenever I finish a long rest, but preparing a new list. Cool. Let's can get I on that. That's the like, start of a. That is your long rest. That is <laughs> it. Not long resting. Right. You're not long, long resting. This is under extreme duress. Long resting oh, yeah, in yeah. the trees. Psh, piece of piss. <laughs> So no one's got a way of dispelling magic. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just gonna because because everybody is drawing a blank. I'm just gonna call for it. Just go. Silo, we're being scrying upon. How I'm, do we stop ooh. it? 
They only know her gen general location, so we can't take her to the place that we wanted to. We we're going to have to give them the runaround for a bit. Let's head in a different direction to where we were going. I have to look up something. Give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, no, he doesn't know that spell. Where could we take it? At this point as well, uh, what you notice is that um, the actual um, stag form shifts and Scylla appears, but he's le leaped into the air when he did. And underneath him, then he actually summons out an act, um, um, not say a white stag, but say like a brown stag, and he's riding upon it. I haven't got any means of actually removing us crying. What do we do then? Something's following us, and it knows where we're going. I think I know who it is. From your reaction, I think I know who it is. What do we do? I'm going to do something which I don't like doing and ask for my brother for help. And he actually begins going white in the eye as if, and begin muttering something. So, he's a brother? Has a, has a brother. <laughs> I have a question. Do we still have the head of disguise? No, and I put... <laughs> like your thinking. <laughs> try and put a disguise. If you like it, then you should have put a hat on it. If you like it, then you should. <laughs> that, that's the best I can think of. Bonus points for creative uh, thinking, but minus several million for good idea. So, Dawnbreakers, that was an amazing feat that you did there. Such cunning ingenuity. How did you manage to conceal the dragon? We put a fedora on it. Genius, my lady. You can make a religion of this. I mean, if it works. That's a Scooby Doo tactic, right there. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Oh man, Braddock! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more of how the villains inevitably come chasing Scooby and Shaggy, and they've put on some ridiculous costume, and then put him in a barber seat, and. They bugged Bunny him. You're not bugged Bunny yeah, yeah. this. <laughs> okay, so could I make a spellcraft check to, to try to disrupt the magic? Not end it, just disrupt it. Make an arcana check. Thinking about all we've got at the moment. Um, you attempt to disrupt the... Like, you're just trying to, like, see if you can tamper with it somehow. And when you focus your magic towards it, um, it's almost like, say, uh, okay. something's been latched onto her, and you're trying to like see if there's any kind of seams on it to try and remove it, almost, is the way to describe what, uh, how your magic tries to glean over it. But when you do that, you hear a voice in the back of your head. No. I need to make a wisdom saving throw. <gasps> we don't like with saving I accidentally exited roll 20, but I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked and hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's why we don't like. I did not vote wisdom very well. <laughs> you take 17 points of psychic damage from backlash. <sighs> Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, you guys move, and you continue to move for maybe um, another ten minutes or so. Um, and as you do, like, in front of you guys, there's just this... Like, you go to a small clearing, and there's just a pillar of flame that erupts out in front of you. So and stepping out from it is Merok. Oh. Is that how you arrive now? You don't think that's kind of a bad idea? We're in a forest. Yeah, Although I suppose he's used to I can control my spell. fire. What the hell's going on? Bad things. We We're dragon. being watched. We've managed to subdue uh, one of their allies. I was about to say, it's been a while, bitch. <laughs> Hello. You can catch up oh, later. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. Yeah, we don't know where to take her at the moment because obviously they know where we were going to take her and now we need to take her somewhere different. She's being Wait. scried upon. I need you to remove it. Wait, brother? Brother? Wait, what? Wait, what? He waves out a hand to the actual spell and you just watch as it fills off of her. Just You actually see like this form that's almost like a clinged hand onto her, like her shoulder and down the side where the zone isn't affecting her. Just 
off. And he goes, oh, I know who cast that. Oh, no. Um, you guys have really pissed him off, so you're all going to need to stand still for about a minute. I don't know if we can stand still for a minute. Can we stand still? Do what still? the man says. Can we, stand, man st says. Can we stand still for a minute? Says. Can we stand still for a minute, like, Do what the man says. Ten, like a few hundred feet away from here? Because this scry has just vanished in this exact spot. If he's going to exactly. show up, he's going to show up. that he wouldn't think it's going to be. He'd think we keep moving. Listen, he's gonna keep up no matter what. I'm gonna do this right now. And you just see from one point around the dragon and the tree ends, it's just like the small spark of flame that just erupts up. And just around all of you is just this now wall of flame that just rises up. And it doesn't, um, it actually doesn't go and doesn't harm any of the trees. It's almost like uh, um, an almost an illusionary sort of effect until Merrick walks through it and gets everyone, make sure that everyone's in it. Okay, now where do you want me to take you? Somewhere uh, safe where they won't find us. The mountain where we got the golden egg for Galgarond. The dead mountain. Okay, I can... Yeah, I can do that. He snaps his finger and the flame just, like, just erupts Is this gonna hurt? <laughs> it erupts <laughs> inward? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, this is a throwback. <laughs> um, I don't have a map for this prepared, but bear this with is me. where Das gets at an old picture that he drew <laughs> <laughs> of just like a triangle. This don't is you, the mountain. Don't you remember? He did it on a whiteboard for us. <laughs> yeah, I did that on a whiteboard. Here's that whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the worst thing I have thrown out that whiteboard since Aww. that was three years ago. Tear up a whiteboard. I threw it out, you fuck. I used to oh, my life years ago. It was three years ago, of like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause we started this campaign for Blue's twenty first birthday. Bow, 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 bow. She's now twenty nine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Grandma, why? <laughs> Find yourself a husband. <laughs> oh, it doesn't easy being a husband. <laughs> Man, think about it. Next year you'll be thirty. <laughs> so the f okay, uh I'm just gonna move you guys I'm gonna make sure firstly that this map is empty. <laughs> It's now a bad time, but I can't actually remember how big the inside of that mountain was. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, we need some air holes. I'm going to move all, all these the dead knolls to the GM layer. Grunt, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move all you guys' pockets. <laughs> I gnawed into the stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh give my us god, some space. you did something useful. <laughs> Wow, look at that. It's the Dargan that we killed. Uh, oh shit, we failed. Off. Oh and yeah, fuck we're, gonna... off. <laughs> we're fuck off in the sand. Yeah, this is the one where you guys wrote fuck off in the sand and fought 60 gnolls. Yeah. yeah, in hindsight, we should have written it in Abyssal. They probably would have understood it then. <laughs> yeah, that was our problem. That was a satisfying problem. fight. I mean, technically right. that dragon isn't there right now. I, I just remember I was on top of a, a, a pillar all the undead were trying to get at me, and I went, Hey, look at this, guys! Look at this! This is a holy symbol! Fuck off! <laughs> get it, Pac! I remember Alice, correctly, and I blew that up. Alistair killed a gnoll from 300 feet away. <laughs> Sharpshooter, my ass. You could literally count from when he released the arrow. Ping! Three, four, five, six... And there he goes. <laughs> It's, it's like counting the after you see lightning, then counting how how long the the thunder takes to get to you. Yeah. To know how far off it was. We learned to do those kind of shots for hunting scootin' beaten. Scootin' run away when they hear something slightly off, so you have to hunt them from very far away. <laughs> Although chances are something will steal your kill before you get there, so you need to have people in within a hundred feet, roughly. <laughs> who, who give or run? take, give or take a baker's yard. Oh, what? Are you just saying <laughs> words? I, I don't. I, I, I don't <laughs> no, what he's not. He just said. Is that some kind of weird Welshness? Scootin' beaten. Scootin' beaten. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Welsh for rather large and ugly duck. Hmm. I didn't know there was a name for me in Welsh. 
that offends Stacy more than me because I'm less Welsh than she is. <laughs> and this has been recorded on a stream. You did. <laughs> How does that offend Stacy? If I'm the ugly duck. Well. Whatever. This joke has died. This joke anyway. died a death because I opened my mouth. Anyway. So now, this may sound weird, but I need you to take your trousers off. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're finding out that a lot of echoes. people here are all related, and I have a very strange birthmark. I need to see if you have the same one. <laughs> Trust me on this. I'm going to slap him around the face. <laughs> I don't have a weird birthmark. It was a joke. <gasps> you know, this is the second time in a row somebody's asked Dumar to take her clothes off. It's not worked. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Where did I move? Oh, there's Grant. Grant's word, like... If we're going to be nitpicky, it might actually be the third. <laughs> The last session, I was like, take your armor off. You're like, no! <laughs> I'm not taking my arm off. You might see my breasticle. So, I thought you hated Mera, casts, <laughs> so Mera casts out the spell, and you appear outside of the mountain. Ah. Trian still gripping onto the dragon. Um, mostly because not nearly the entirety of the actual inside of that mountain is caved in and Merak's not willing to try and move that much mass into a space that may not have the space mm -hmm. so instead teleport you outside of it mm. so, so you're now on the because if I'm correct the uh, mountain is before is after Newgrove so actually you're kind of now between Distoon and Newgrove it feels like an absolute age since we were last here. It's only been about two weeks. It's been about... <laughs> funnily enough, in-game, it's been probably about three Couple months. Of months then. Three yeah, months? Like... A lot has been, happened. It's not been that long. A lot has happened in three months. You've met a lot of weird people in three months. Yeah. It's basically like remembering from now until Christmas. God. That's all it's been for the guys. Just like, Remember what we did at Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it's great. Christmas. Christmas. Being totally sarcastic, Amara just goes, I remember when Nosdo used to be here. Grunt gets visibly sad. <laughs> oh. We didn't even know you then. It was just the three of us. Merak and Sil are looking at each other and looking at you guys and going, so if you're done, uh, you know, reminiscing right now, we have a fucking dragon to deal with. That's fine. Oh, That's yeah. fine. Oh, yeah. How is big a... is the entrance? Not big enough. <laughs> Think very a, much so. Uh, like this is, this is very much like the um, the postern door for Erebor. It's small. A large creature could maybe squeeze through it. No hope of a dragon getting in there. Uh, anybody who's played World of Warcraft translate. <laughs> Erebor. It's from Lord, Lord of, of the, the Rings. Rings. The movies where they're trying to sneak up on the gate and it's a tiny ass door on the side they try to get into. Really anyway, second one. Is, is Beat. there is there uh, any iron ore in the area? <laughs> yes, there is. T several thousand tons of natural iron ore that you can make chains for the dragon out of. I would like yeah. to uh, cast commune with metal. Uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black just uh, appears out of nowhere. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. What is uh, the secret of your power? Uh, Grunt will uh, sign to her druid friend that um, she suggests that the treants grab hold the dragon tight and take root. Pun intended. Oh no, we're still moving. I'm not staying here. We want to go in the mountain. We can't bloody fit her in the mountain. Oh come on, there's enough of us here. We can make a big enough hole. Well, no, we literally need to go someplace where we cannot be warded, uh, scried on. While we discuss what's happening, can somebody just keep an eye to make sure that she's not getting re-scried upon? Buckley, that'll be your job. Merrick's eyes. Spend... Merrick snaps his finger and his eyes go blue. I'm watching. Thank you. Because I have to spend ten minutes to do that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We've got the mountain. It's Thank not got a big enough doorway. But obviously, we can smash around a bit to open up some of the some of the mountain. Can you fabricate some of the rocks into something that we can put her in? To restrain her? Are, are you asking me to make a bird cage out of stone? Not a bird cage. I want it to have bars and like a little seat and a mirror for her to look at herself in. 
I'm talking just like a block big enough to shove her in one end so she point, can't fly away. your silent spell would have faded. Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. What we need, this is more of an out-of-character comparison, uh, we want something kind of like what uh, Odaving was kept in, in Skyrim. Uh, Grant's going to... Um... What's worse is I immediately got that. <laughs> Grant's going to go to a bit more solid footing on top of the dragon, like in the middle of her back, and start doing the ritual for commune with nature. You are, like, whatever movement she has, she just knocks you off. If you try to focus on the spell, you fall off the side. In which case, I'm going to climb up to the top of her head, uh, get hell out, and uh, point it at her eye, and put the hammer on the other side, so I'm going to ice pick her eye if she pisses me off anymore. <laughs> Grunt's had a very bad few fights, she's not in the mood. <laughs> if you do she anything else. Mafia. Come to me on the day of this movement. You piss me off with your wiggling. This cannot happen. Grant, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know what that's about then. Wisdom, wisdom. Uh, I mean, that could probably be contained in. within a 10 foot cube. Yeah. It's basically like dragon sized stocks. <laughs> Yeah. Dragon not... scary? Not dragon scary, you now feel the ultimate compelling to get the dragon out. Ah, fuck. Okay, uh, we're moving. Has... <laughs> you, has hear a voice the the side, you hear a voice in the back of your head go, Why don't you kill that little sorcerer who's flingering his fingers around? The little elf boy, go on, do it right now. Now. I'm happy to react to that immediately. I just want to question whether or not uh, the person who was specifically looking for magic has seen that before I start jumping into action, because I'm happy uh, to attack. Oh no, um, I rolled. She rolled a natural 20 on a slight of hand. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, uh, well, I've got I've got the hammer in one hand and held the other, so I'm going to do the logical thing, and I'm going to uh, say the magic word and chuck it at the sorcerer. Okay, I have to make an error through a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Because, yes, she is still trying to disrupt you as much as she can because she knows she's able to. Deck saving throw, he's not good. Definitely not good at these. So, yeah, he takes 17, <laughs> takes 17 points of damage. Grunt, what the fuck? Whoa! And Grunt! Then, and, then, ah! and, then with my, and then with my movement, I'm going to get up face to face with him, but that's the end of my round. Uh, I'll shout out Grunt, get angry! Uh, uh, yeah, I would probably rage at this point. Okay, you rage. Um, can I make like a some sort of check to see if I can guess what's you happening? You see that her eyes are glazed over. Okay. She got yeah. very close to... The last thing you saw, like, everything's basically quite hectic right now. The last thing you saw was her trying to get up next to the dragon, trying to, like, glare at the dragon, and the dragon glaring back at her, and now her eyes are the same uh, kind of, like, um, her eyes are actually now quite silvered over as grunts, so it looks okay. like her eyes are not really hers. Uh, since I'm guess, since I would assume I'm still holding it because no one's taking it off me, I will refocus on the orb. Or have I? Yeah. I presume you've been focusing on it. Okay. So yeah, you, you just focus on it again. Uh, grunts, you're not you're not berserker, barbarian. No, she's not. She told him no, the bear. She's totally no, bear. I know the moment you said that, it's like nah, she told him bear. <laughs> Don't be meta. <laughs> Not matter. That's why I was checking. I was like, it's not done anything, has it? It's just made her angry. <laughs> Didn't make that's her angry. That's, that's not what I want. That's I should have raged. I, I, was, I was thinking, you know, I'll go all out and I'll use the Hell's lightning charge and everything, but I forgot to rage. But no, I rage. Do we want to do an initiative, Cairns, or are we going to just. Does like enough this? of you here not even grunt is going to be able to survive you guys? Fuck it. I'll so... just try and fall Nelson up. Are you serious? You're barely gonna get fold out of me. You're not gonna I'm... get your hands around one arm, let alone both. <laughs> well, I'll get it around the arm that's I fold out in her. <laughs> Each of you take an arm. Buckley, give me a hand. <laughs> in nursing we learned a technique where um, if somebody um... was uh, hard to deal with you just take a limb each. Um Grant, I need you to make a strength saving throw with disadvantage because you currently have two people trying to fool Nelson you, and you've got Maracas and Telekinesis on you. Ah! As, uh, as, as I am raging, I usually have advantage on strength. You do, so, so it's I a strength check. Okay. Yeah, strength check. 
Lay on Sol, do something! Why do you roll good, damn it? He watches Aeon Sol walks up to his mother and stabs her with the Dragon Slaying Longsword. Oh, for fuck's sake. And then at that moment, Grunt the spell drops off of you as the mother screams out in agony. Ah, uh, fucking... I cast Fog Cloud on him immediately. Which, on Aeon Sol? Yeah, right on, right on top of him. Okay. I, 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 I... The spell I casts out and it, it is now taking up a large space around all of you. But the dragon's concentration has dropped. And the pain shot through her so much, I'm actually have to roll. You, you told him to do something. He did something. <laughs> I'm true. going to bow an apology and take my um, javelin out of our friend. Yeah, you have to take the javelin out of Merrick. He goes, ah, you bitch! What the fuck? She just nods an apology again, then she turns around, even with those two hanging on her, and she's like, <laughs> she, she just got that look in her eyes, like, okay, I was thinking about eyeing this bitch, now I'm, now I'm going to eye this bitch. He watches the dragon Grunt. go slim. He watches what, sorry? The dragon go slim. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. She's still alive. Ah, uh, fuck. Everyone huddle up. And I'm going to cast it's, silence it's, on my location. <laughs> I'm going to assume somebody um, intercepts Grunt as she goes to eye the bitch. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Aeon Soul gets between you and her and just literally just motions you off like, no, get away. Yeah, and now he's do basically it. on top of her head and more or less warding all of you off. And I'm going to be out here because that's where he actually would be. Okay. Circle of friends. Why am I in the middle? <laughs> Group hug! <laughs> So I've just got silence down on the middle of us, and I'm like, huddle around us. And then I'm going to dispel Fog Cloud, obviously, because that's not going to help us. Mm -hmm. Can I grab hold of the dragon's wing and just hold it with me? It's like, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Except all the treants are holding her, and there's no way you can pin the, the wing while that is, so sh fucking stop it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to start uh, writing, like, making motions in the sand to write down, because obviously we can't talk at the moment. So I'm just going to put 10 minutes, 10 mins. I draw a question mark and just look at everybody. I'm going to write down magic from the outside. Merrick just <laughs> writes with magic while in the circle. I can cast without speaking. What? Meanwhile, Grunt holds up a piece of paper and saying, This predicament we've currently found ourselves in <laughs> has become quite problematic, and I believe the dragon is uh, still going to cause more trouble. Just basically a whole thesis of the time you've managed to a couple of words. Aeon <laughs> Sil walks over to you, Apsar, and slaps you in the back of the head, make a concentration check. The fuck? Um, he clearly doesn't want silence. Uh, nice. Wait, he's him or me? I rock a nice pat on the shoulder and cast pure wounds. Sure, you do that. Um, Alistair, you maintain concentration on the spell, but Aeon is not looking at you and just moves his hand over the throat, like, drop it. Okay, I I dropped this it. This is pointless, and it's wasting too much time. She's currently incapacitated, and he just reached for the orb off of Damara. I need it. And focuses it at her. I've seen what this can do, and it hurts like a bitch, so let's see if I can do something else with it. And he focuses at uh, Bratak, and in that moment, her form begins to shift. Huh. I didn't think that would work. That would have been useful. Mm -hmm. Back down yeah. to her human form, and just the treants basically are now all far closer, and they're all just like holding a limb. One's got her by the head. <laughs> <laughs> and still motions for them all to drop her, which they it's like me with this, gingerly do. It's like me with this tiny foot. <laughs> kind of, except it's more like if you were holding a not a mouse. What would be a good example? Terry frog. Not a frog. <laughs> yeah, if you had a fur like that, it'd croak. Anyway. So, she's dropped down in this form. Aeon <laughs> yeah, so still got the orb on, uh, focused and currently is holding her. Are you comfortable we don't have holding time. that? Now can no, we get inside? No, we're still doing this. Yes, let's get inside. Keep the treants outside. Everyone else, get in with me. Come on now. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't think that would work. Neither if did the I. While she's conscious and wouldn't. While she's uh, things. Uh, Grunt, get the fuck in, I don't care. 
I'm not asking. Yep. Get in now. I was going to say grab her up by the back of the neck to make sure she's coming in with us. TV keeps trying to turn itself off. Okay, can you guys ward the inside of this place eventually? Eventually. Hey, on Sills, or sorry, excuse me. Yanero's currently got the amulet, and you're all within enough of the space room actually to make sure you can't be scryed upon. Yeah, no, but she's going to be kept here, then. We can't keep Yanero here as well. Because there's no way we can ward this place, because so they obviously know that she's here now. There are spells that could be performed, Merok, and Ansel. Ansel has just suddenly taken entire charge of this shitty situation. And Merok has, um, yes, I could perform, uh, it would take a bit of a time to make a permanent one, but I could perform a ward to actually make sure she is, well, warded off and protected. And uh, another spell has not yet been cast on her. Whoever is... Um, trying to look for her. I think I know exactly who it was and who was actually in uh, Old Fortune. He, um, he's currently preoccupied and cannot do it, so he's not going to be able to do it again. Um, I think it's going to be our best bet to just try to ward... We'll probably ward one of the old rooms in here if we find somewhere small enough. Okay. <clears throat> I need, like... Science. I can very easily do a 10 by 10 room. I could do a 20 by 20 as well so we'll have to just check and see so he but you guys motion inside and you do find the now almost um more like um dried and um somewhat probably feasted upon scavenged by uh or feasted upon by scavengers remains of the goblins bugbears and ogres you guys fought when you first came here wow i think that was the one i punched in the face yeah i can see where his nose got broken Uh, from there, it's um, you guys moving in. Mm -hmm. um, you managed to, funnily enough, the room where the um, egg had been, or the orb, excuse me, had been contained previously. That's uh, with the altar. That's probably the room that has the largest space for an actual like containment and to actually um, do this in. Be careful in there, it had loads of traps. <laughs> <laughs> I check for, tra I check for traps. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Poo! Hey! Ooh. Well, not for... You look through the room and you find, you still find maybe like six or seven rudimentary traps, like bear traps and things like that, that have just been laid up and around. You manage to, or like wire traps for um, um, slinging someone up by the leg. Um, you do find as well, uh, probably in like one of the far, further corners, uh, something you didn't see, but there's actually a log that's been tied up against the ceiling of this 20 foot high thing that's tied up to a rope. So you manage to set it off, it slams into the wall, and then you cut it down. And uh, just, you, you spend 10 minutes dismantling all the traps in this area while Merrick begins focusing on the spell. Where was that bear trap that Nosdo went in? Found it! <laughs> Yeah, this this dried red around the actual bear uh, trap, the center of it. <laughs> actually, quite a lot of the bear trap actually, because Dunzer jumped in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sort of looking at the uh, sort of altar bit in the middle, just sort of lost in memories almost, just like, God, how did it end up like this? This is what happens in the Hover campaign. <laughs> We're going to need to leave somebody here to watch over her just in case something happens. Grunt is currently holding her by the back of the neck. You, you are not, not because Ansel is holding her. Ansel is okay. holding her and is glaring at you with absolute malicious intent. He won't stab you. Incidentally, uh, I'm going to take that dragon sword off you now, if that's okay. No. I don't trust you with it. And I don't trust you with it. You've already stabbed her once, give me the sword. It's going in the bag of holding. I knew it would incapacitate her at the very least. I don't care, Grunt got taken over, you could very easily as well. Give me that sword before somebody gets hurt with it. You're not taking this sword. Then how about you just hold out the bag and put it in yourself? And we let you have the bag, perhaps. I don't know. I'm sure there's no. a way to sort this out. Merrick is also going, Oh, yeah, that sword that you took from... Yeah, um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sword that doesn't belong to you, kid. I know it doesn't belong to me. It. He's not but trying I'm, to Not to you. It. No, no, he's not talking to you. He's talking to Aeon's soul. Oh, sorry. Oh. I thought you were talking to us. <laughs> yeah, that sword that doesn't belong to you that, you know, your dad's oh, been petrified cool. about the fact that it's gone missing. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, 
Is How about you give me the sword? That'll work. I that trust works. Merok with it more. No. I'm not giving you the sword. And so, I'm not asking now. Give, we have worked really hard to try and get your mother alive in this situation. I'm not going to have you screwed up now because of some petty, childish vendetta that you've got against the bigger enemy. I get that you've been fighting this a lot longer, but I'm not having you potentially screw this up. Give me the sword. Now. Persuasion check. No, sorry. So P and I was like, that's good. Hey! 16 was what I was meant to roll. <laughs> he looks to you for a little like second. There is a very um, heavy silence for a probably good minute as he's thinking, holding his mother. <laughs> and he, he genuinely does not seem to want to even let her down. But he looks to you, after what she said, I don't know who to trust right now. I can't trust her. I can't trust you lot. I definitely can't trust you as he points towards Merok. There's been a lot more shady shit here than you've all been willing to admit whether or not you like it. I don't trust... I trust the group of adventurers because they've been the one people that have been trying to do the right thing. They've not been manipulated. But even then... And he just reaches up, takes the sword off, hands it over to you, Alistair. You can definitely trust me because I've been open from the start. I have no cards to hide. And any cards that are hidden are ones I don't know about myself. Uh, I was about to say, what about this card? Uh, I pull an uh, uh, AC spade out of its back pocket. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have cards. We don't play together. No, we barely we even talk to each other. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the joke was funny. We just sat there in silence. Grunt. Right, uh, go fish. Go fish. <laughs> <laughs> but at least he didn't pull a draw four. <laughs> at this point, um, it's just to let you know. At this point, Merrick um, was saying this as he was focusing. And just like this arcane war, Doctor Strange saw just like spreads out from his fingertips and just erupts into the room. And it just, it's almost like a splatter and it just sprays all the walls with this arcane symbol around it. And just begins humming as he has his hands out focused on it intently. And his head is almost moving. Um, it's almost as if his head is moving separate to his body in that it is just moving at a hundred actions in a minute, almost like just dozens of movements as his eyes are rolling. And so let me work. So you play StarCraft? Mm. No, not really. Aeon? <clears throat> Hand your mother over to Grunt. Uh, Grunt doesn't want that. Um, Grunt signs to him and says, um, Thank you. If our chief says the sword is best with him, it is best with him. Look after your mother. Family is important. I will leave you be. Aww. We need to find somewhere to put her, but I want to have a talk with you, Aeon. Can one of you guys find somewhere that we can put her for the time being that's safe? Actually, um, actually, Scylla, the bodies from outside, the bone, the steel, those can probably be repurposed. Smart thinking. I, I can work with steel. <laughs> <laughs> Buckley gets a slight harder. <laughs> oh, moving, you insist. There's metal. Oh, oh. There's chain mails, there's short Ding. swords, clubs, uh, all these sort of things that can be used. So um, they are essentially presented, piled up, and you could make a cage out of it. Give me so all those traps. Yes, and all the uh, traps as well. What can you make out of half a pint of dwarf blood? <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. That's the secret ingredient in Bugman's brew. Oh God! Is good call. I'll believe it. From uh, people, people. If, if if people were willing to wait eight hours, I can sleep and then fabricate cage. <laughs> He's starting to talk like Nasda. I sleep, fabricate cage. Very good. Yes. 
Tilda speaks up. Um, actually, just let Medoc finish up this, and he'll probably be able to do more than just fabricate with the steel um, for her little cage. Well, and just yes, Amara, I know you were bitching about it, but yeah, he's my brother. Uh, little brother. <laughs> I just, it's just look at Merrick. I'm gonna him. after this. I'm go, I'm so going online. I'm finding all the pictures that I can to Photoshop together. Everybody hates Galgarond. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of resemblance. He he just points at the belt. I. Kinda changes the main facial feature. Shave this off and we look a lot like. Why do you sound like you're from like 50 miles north or south of where he, where he was born? Belt of Dwarven kind's a bit of a bitch. I would so love to take that off and have you change voice. I bet you're a completely different person. Oh, I'm an entirely different person. That's glorious. I might have to borrow that at some point for impression. You cannot, because oh. I appreciate the beard. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of this. I've gotten used to it. I'd be interested to see if I could grow a bit. <laughs> You're a half elf, so you can. Meanwhile. No, my half elf can. Half elf can, but I mean. <laughs> They're not very bushy. <laughs> no, they can be. It's more like, you know, good fuzz and then curls. So you can make oh, that. Excuse me. I call that they have to be able to do, like, one of those evil uh, goatees or no, mustaches they, and stuff. They can do that, but they can also do others. They can make normal fucking beers. They can't just be like, hmm, half elf master villain. Yeah. Yeah, Alistair with three years of the belt of dwarven kind that still come out looking like Shaggy from Zooby Scooby Doo. Master sure Master Sure Scooby. Ruggy. I'm gonna rock it. To be fair. So anyway, I'm gonna take Aeon Soul aside. <clears throat> Preferably away from uh, people. <laughs> Where, uh, yeah, you, you just take that. him away. Go on, Grant. Go on. Uh, um, I sort of put my hand on your chest, sort of stop you half walk, and um, I take out my warhammer in both hands, and I thrust it into your chest. I said to hold it, um, hand it to you. Mine. And then I take, then I take a knee, and then I stand up, and I wander off. Do you leave the warhammer in its hands? Yep. like the most violent least violent thing she's ever done to me that made sense in her head <laughs> is this some sort of rite of passage i don't know I no am idea. i a king now don't do i get a crown no you're not no you're not getting a crown she, she, I'm, she, I'm, she, I'm she getting signs, a crown i i'm getting a crown before you're getting a crown she sort of signs half over her shoulder half lazily it's like um uh, you, you can't you, sign lazily over your shoulder you that's not what signing is you dumb! I want to call you many profound words because that's not sign language. That's it's lazy. Like this is a fantasy me. world. You still <laughs> have to use languages properly. Your dad said you could speak. It's in character, guys. She's playing a character. In it's which case, she's going character. to she's going to turn around slightly and flip you all off. <laughs> such a hard time. There. That's what gets. I think this means all sign language the requires both hands, especially one word ones. <laughs> she said I was the chief. She's accepted me as a leader of some kind. That means that she clearly thinks that I am the smartest, most handsome, and second strongest in the group. She's or, not very smart, is she? Or. I take she... slight offense to that <laughs> shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's more of a thing of since Aeon Soul gave you the weapon that she had to give you the weapon. I don't think she's that dumb that she thinks I'm now just a dog that you have to give weapons to. No. Nobody give me a weapon. But she <laughs> I wasn't going also... to. Anywho. Who's a good I yeah, give the Warhammer to you. Buckley for the time being. Prepare this and make it good. It's perfectly functional. Don't kiss. Kiss it and make it Actually, move. Buckley, go to sleep for Christ's sake. You're bleeding from every possible orifice at this point. I hit myself with a hammer and go to sleep. <laughs> You're about 20 hey, minutes cool. away from being classed as an ooze. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happens when you reach six levels of exhaustion. <laughs> Turn to a main. That's <laughs> uh, the opposite of a black pudding. Cottage cheese. <laughs> 
<laughs> wants to try and eat everything, kind of cheese. No one wants to try and eat it. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's cheese that looks like coleslaw. It means I really don't want to touch it. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Fuck off, Shimmer. Anyway. <laughs> you move off with Aeon Soul to a... As you now realize, this entire room has basically been um, proofed against, but he's now working on a permanent effect, which will take him a period of time. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to take him over to some sort of like. Is there. There's no like windows or anything. You probably, like, no, not in here. It's a mountain. Take, you're in the mountain. You're in deep it's in the mountain. It's a long time that this probably, was last described to us. <laughs> you could definitely take him to the other side of the very large altar and speak to him there. It's alright. I was going to take him to a window and do the whole. Everything the light touches is going to turn to shit. But we'll, <laughs> we'll leave that on for the time. His dad, his dad did that with him. <laughs> oh, I will go ahead and. Just sleep. On, what on about the that dark area in the north? We don't have the hobgoblins. The fuck did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Aeon so for you, Mickey the Rat? Mickey the Dragon? Anyone who's a baby is basically. Dead! <laughs> <laughs> I learned all my best from my dad. <laughs> my dad! My dad! <laughs> anyway. Mm. My dad? This is the drink talking now. This is the drink talking. <laughs> I'm about, to drink, a, beware. I'm about to have a father-son conversation from a bastard child to a person who is considerably older than I am. This is what RP is made for. <laughs> mm. Have life lessons from the three-year-old bird. <clears throat> I'm just going to take him, take him to one side. Uh, I'm going to say, first off, I'm sorry. I know we're a good friend, even if we've never said it out loud. Uh, second, thank you for you know seeing seeing sense and doing the right thing. Um, and then third is actually what the stuff I want to discuss. So we've we've taken a big risk here. Like at the moment, we've made ourselves very vulnerable because we've real we've revealed that not only do we want to take a very important piece away from them, but we want to bring them onto our side so they know that we're trying our best to, to keep her alive. So if anything now, they're going to be more likely to try and cut their losses than to try and claim her back. So we're going to be under constant espionage and constant fire. I don't know much about what has caused her to become the way she is other than that the Dragon Orb was originally involved with it. But from all the time that you spent with your dad, I'm going out on a limb here. Is there any conceivable way that you can picture in your wildest dreams that we could potentially change her back? Ansel thinks for a moment. When she changed back into the human form, and it's something that I noticed in the dragon form when I was close. The very corners of her eyes were black. The veins were. I don't think she's been fully corrupted, but I think that there's been enough of a taint lit latched to her, should be the way to say it, that it's changing how she's seeing things. It's less of a corruption of morality and more a corruption of viewpoint changing what she's thinking, what she like thinks is right. Like under constant hallucinogenics. Less hallucinogenics and more altering what makes sense for her. Making her be willing to believe things that can't be real. Like a permanent charm? Something like that. Hmm. Problem is, the one person I trust most with magic's in the room right now, focusing on a spell, and I don't trust him that much. <clears throat> I get that you're probably a bit disheveled at the moment. She was right. I don't remember much of the fight when we earned the nickname our group had. I don't remember much of those events at all, in fact, and. 
The one person I always trusted that had information was Merak. Even Elaine Crow, he just more or less isolated himself from us and went to his work and into drink. That's all he had. I don't remember it. I don't remember it fully. And I don't like that. I really don't like that. Well, not knowing any of the details, and I'm not asking you to go into details now because I think there's better times for it. Whatever decisions were made were probably with probably the best had the best intentions behind them, even if they weren't the best decisions or what they wanted, what decisions they wanted to make. So I think before you jump to any rash conclusions, just remember that the woman that was trying to kill you, your mother, was feeding you a lot of information and you should take that with a pinch of salt until we can prove otherwise. Mm. Lock it away somewhere in your head and keep hold of it, but remember that the person over there that you say you can't trust is doing everything within his power right now to trust the word of a dim-witted half-elf, a thief-elf, a man who literally tries to make everything from magic and a guy who would happily burn it all to the ground all just to try and save her life and there's got to be more to it than just what your opinion of that is make a persuasion check with advantage damn son that was good so I, I was reading and I went oh I have ceremony which has atonement but it has to be willing <laughs> It takes a long minute just thinking as you're listening to him, and he's doing that kind of thing of looking off in the distance <laughs> as you're saying it. <laughs> just, just a, Do you even a have thousand ears? yard stare. That's racist. I think so. Wow. <laughs> we have ear holes, I think. Yeah, you don't have like ear flaps though, do you? It's anyway, ear, ear holes. Since the moment. Come in. We're having a private discussion. It's about dragons. Oh, the drink is really settling in there. <laughs> I yeah, can tell. Yeah, I think I just had a heart to heart there about some daddy issues that I gotta sort out myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that DD is the perfect environment to talk about your own issues. You just project them onto your characters. I don't know whether my camera's gone funny or if I'm actually starting to see blurry. <laughs> Your camera looks the same, honey. <laughs> Have you had any water? Not for a few days. Oh, God. We well, don't want a repeat of last time, darling. Yeah. Can't repeat last time, because I'm in a different room now. Just, just go ahead and go get the, the Brita filter and whatnot right now. <laughs> don't have a Brita filter anymore. It's built into the sink. <laughs> I'll go get the sink. Alright. Right. <laughs> Nobody need water. Oh, that was still the Back in. Right. You, as you're saying this to him, he's doing the, you know, look off in the distance as you're trying to give it to him, and he's taking it in. He is listening to us. I understand what you're saying. It makes sense. It's just the nugget of doubt that's just lingering there now. She disappeared in the middle of the night years ago, and all I was told is that she's dead, and now she's not. And all this other information. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't have taken it. I would have just seen it as trying to get into my head. But it's her. And that's getting in my head. I'll take what you said under consideration, Dartwood. Just remember, we haven't won her back just yet. So you've lost one parent, and if you let her lose ties to your other parents, you'll have nobody. And I know what that's like. We've got people now, just remember that. A weird bunch of fuckers, but you've got a group. Come, let's go and get some kip. 
Right. I'm probably not going to sleep much. Don't really I'm, need I'm to either. Sleeping with the hammer <laughs> on my chest. Would it's like me. <laughs> it's like me all in there, just like on his chest. <laughs> It looks like a, when a dwarf is like laid to rest, just on his chest, just yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, Look, I, the man who wanted to be a dwarf. <laughs> well, the Balrog can't hit you so hard you think you're you realize you're a dwarf. Yeah. That, that's... Says you, you're not my real dad. <laughs> Depends no, how hard you get I'm squished. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the beard suddenly has a lot more volume because all the brain part just gets so hit so hard it goes into hair. Like his, his, gets his, his out. head, his, his, his mustache just goes stunk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> what in tarnation? And he's gone. He's gone. And I can't fight that because I'm in an area where that's a thing. <laughs> where where there's farmers that literally are just Oh we we gotta get us some can we get us some moot. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm the I'm the rootinist tootinist. <laughs> Cowpoke shootinist. After about an hour of focus on the spell um, it just seems to like, like lock in place, and the actual stonework itself, like dust being shifting off of it, as it's as if it's actually been forcefully imprinted on the wall the walls along, and the room is now protected against uh, detection. Now all the scrap metal that's all there and presented, Mark just focuses, and it takes him the better part of two hours but you can tell that he's actually casting spells into the metal as he's warping it with fabricate and it ends up being a pair of shackles that latch down onto her wrists that chain across to them that chain up to the neck two chains from the wrists go around to the back to the ankles and then down to the front to the ankles and there's a link between the ankles as well and all down along is just this runic uh, writing down it if I was awake right now I would nudge Buckley and say take a, take a lesson I'm asleep you are asleep Aeon Sol is the only person that does not go to sleep uh, who's on watch Aeon Sol I'll watch as well. Okay. Because I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> Aeon Soul, um, after Mera casts out the spell, gives him a very simple nod, and Mera says, Right, um, your father's probably going to need me back. Uh, I just told him it was an emergency that I had to go, but I'm probably going to need to pop back to him now. Uh, I don't even like that I've left him for this long without someone to keep an eye, so I'm going to go now. Ooh, hey. where, where is it? Um, You're asleep. Oh, sorry. This is what happened when I was... Never mind. Yeah. <coughs> he's saying this to Ansel and Damar because Damar is awake. But uh, he's, uh, he's listening. Good luck. Uh, well done. That was definitely not easy. Maintain that dragon orb. Um... I'm going to see if I can find something that might help make this a little bit more of a permanent fixture here. Um, we'll see about getting things to make it comfortable here, at least. Uh, I'm just going to go back and make sure Galgaron's all right. And with that, he steps away from you all. Uh, he's still within the actual room for the detection. Waves out his hands, and it's just this that column of fire just with him away. Scylla mm. is somewhat meditating in the corner. Uh, as Merrick was leaving, he said, See you, shithead. And as he <laughs> did, there's just this, the fair, like, he's meditating, there's like the small, like, uh, fairy dust and particles around him that just form into, like, a slight form of th two knuckles, middle finger, two knuckles. Because <laughs> that's what magic's really for. Flipping, well, off, your, not fairy flipping off your brother. 
And we we did make a massive middle finger statue in the middle of the desert, so I don't think we... We have a combined age, not even a fraction of his. He should know better. <laughs> you don't have a combined age of either of them. I'm just, I'm just saying we made a middle finger monument in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and when we get old enough that people come to us for help, then we can be mature. Mature asleep. Alistair has really weird things when he mumbles when he's asleep. <laughs> well, we really did that, yeah. <laughs> I sleep now in a glade that is protected by Del Deer. That makes me feel safe. That actually sounds really cool. Unless you stay there for more than a couple of minutes and then it just looks creepy. <laughs> <laughs> in my sleep, I uh, roll Fuck. over and throw the hammer on Alistair. Bang. In my sleep, I stay asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I can cuss. <laughs> Alistair, you get woken up by a hammer on your throat. <laughs> I don't think I wake up then. <laughs> no, you, you wake, wake up. up to find yourself dead. <laughs> no, you wake up with the bang. <laughs> yeah, that sudden moment, you realize that Buckley did that, that he's an asshole, you move five feet over to the left and go back to sleep. trying to think of something to say, but I can't think of anything. Ayanso currently is holding the dragon orb, looking at Ritok, and even has just like a hand on the top of her head, just like, with definitely a, like a, a look of regret and just sadness in him, and confusion. <laughs> Oh, Blue, if only you were playing a person that actually knew how to talk to people. <laughs> yep. Then maybe they could make a character that knew how to talk to people rather than sitting there going, Ah, bugger me, so sad. <laughs> I know how you feel. Basically, I was just like, this is the wrong Ooh. character for this situation. Well, tough shit. Yeah, I just... just sits there with a whetstone, sharpening her knives of sorrow. Yeah, basically. Edge, 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 <laughs> edge, edge not sharp enough. Edge, edge, my dad didn't like me sharp and quicker. It's not like I'm she has a lot to do. She hasn't, got her, she hasn't got her books. She hasn't got her books with her. <laughs> just gonna like give him some space because I don't know what to do in this situation. It's a bit awkward when you don't need sleep. <laughs> Sometimes not choosing the dialogue option is the right thing to do. Bullshit! I'm gonna go up and just... Alice said in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just for something to do, I'm just gonna like... walk back up to the top of the altar and just examine the thing just because it's like, wow, three months, fuck. Gloating your success, you mean. <laughs> Remember that time I beat a dwarf up here and stole the uh, yeah, that was a good time. Make an investigation check as you're up there. Wait, what? <laughs> Talking to herself. Make an investigation check while you're up there. Ugh, this was great times, I remember this. Um, what you notice from your own readings as well, is that the, t the, um, the position where the actual egg was in, um, the two it's almost like, say, two pieces that, say, came up, like um, pincers holding it. Mm -hmm. But one side was one dragon head. The other side was a bizarre dragon head. It was the same neck and the same, like, face to each side, but there's, like, the grooves of different, like, faces and snouts as if they were all just, like, one dragon that had multiple snouts, eyes, and faces, and there's seven of them on one side. So one side has got one, seven has got the other. That is a very bizarre thing. Can I identify types, or is it too much of a mishmash? Um, there are... Well, um, make a history check with advantage, because you're reading of dragons and shit. Okay. Fourteen. Not too hard a check for you, though, because whilst you can't discern the actual types, what you can discern is uh, how they're presented. Um, in your books and your readings, there's been very specific um, 
depictions of certain dragons and on one side that's very obviously the design for Bahamut a very wide broad heavy neck very strong heavy like think jaw um, and frills down the spine and neck uh, on the other side by association then at the very least you know that there's seven heads it's probably a design of Tiamat hmm. that's interesting Seven. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, mythology people draw things with more heads or more heroic. <laughs> based on story. That wasn't even a funny thing, that's just a thing. Your guys are shit. The thing that you can say though is that while there is the typical five, there's now two more, like say, that are almost like snake atop a snake head. That's interesting. Have I read anything about additional heads? To my knowledge, Tiamat only has five. Tiamat only has five, yes, but you've seen, um, say, old drawings and designs of her in the books that you've read mm -hmm. that have at points had seven, with two of which being unexplained. It's almost like, say, an older medieval drawing where, say, multiple heads are just put in, as I, funnily enough, as Spook did say, yeah. something quite similar to that. That's interesting. I should be doing your fucking history checks. You shouldn't because you know I mean the dragons again then. This is a jail of my favorite enemy, and then I don't have to read shit. I just have to read my. Li but you're asleep, so whoops. I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm the beep beep. You're asleep. Okay, something else to research, perhaps. That's strange. I'm just going to needlessly spend a lot of time examining it more for the point of I'm just going to leave him alone. It's I'll say because you're doing that and you're doing that in that way, I'll make another investigation uh, check. For the I was sake. literally doing it just to avoid the awkwardness of what's mm -hmm. happening down there. <laughs> I'm another helping make another not investigation. being a psychologist. <laughs> okay. Um... Looking at it, like, there's very little, like, it looks like it's been worn down just from, like, erosion over time, even. Um, it doesn't look like, when you look at the actual altar itself, it looks like maybe um, parts of it had been taken from other places and brought to here. Hmm. Um, but what you can discern is that one of the heads has, say, a very distinct, like, very, very, like, very worn, so almost like you can't notice it, but you can still see, like, grooves in where as if it's an ear is coming out but say grooves going down for fins or for um, frills at the back of the neck quite similar to a black dragon that's the one on the left yeah uh the one on the right you're having difficult discerning any specific details from it um it looks more like just um interestingly enough um, even the uh, other five had discernible like small discernible features so that you could just say okay that one that one has this, and that's the only way that could be a white. That's the only thing this way it could be a red. Yeah. This one has no... It's almost like a blank template. Hmm. Like, say, almost as if someone was carving it, and, like, say, had a blank template, but had not yet chiseled in features. Okay. That might be because we killed them. Who knows? No, I don't think so. Okay. Cool. Okay. Did you hear Aeon saw blot out in tears in the background? <laughs> you do not. <laughs> Slowly breaking down as Delmara cares less and less. It's not that I don't <laughs> care, it's that I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe these additional heads are the incarnations of Spyro coming back. <laughs> His coming was foretold! Ding <laughs> <laughs> ding! <laughs> no, this is literally like, oh, I don't care. It's literally like, I don't know how to deal with that situation. I'm gonna go over here now, bye! <laughs> Big mood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> I'm basically gonna spend most of the time up there before I feel like maybe I should rest <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you then chill out on the steps a bit. Have so. <laughs> What else to do? This is why I like to have books from the library. <laughs> Sometimes you just, just have nothing. Start. You just have nothing Damara, to do. <laughs> Damara, you sit yourself down, 
And as you do, like, you kind of put your hands in your pockets for a moment, just like fidgeting, and you feel something in your right pocket. A piece of paper. That's got familiar uh, handwriting on it. Uh, that's going to have familiar handwriting on it. It doesn't have. Funnily enough, by term of phrase, it does have familiar handwriting on it, but not. It is a hand that has been drawn. And it is a hand drawing that design, which is underneath the line A C. Hmm. I just tear it in half. On each side of the page now, one side of it has a thumbs up and one side has a thumbs down. <laughs> I'm just gonna just put keep it ripping. I'm just there, I'm just gonna put it back in my pocket and decide that I don't wanna be all alone on top of this altar anymore. I'm gonna go back down to the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which you do. I I wanted I wanted you to just keep ripping it and then you know, at the very end is just a bunch of pieces of paper with a middle finger on it. Like, <laughs> That's a necessarily <laughs> tempting fate. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Funnily enough, whatever way you look at it, they could both be thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> it depends what your perspective on life is. Hmm. Always look on the bright side of life. Uh... Keeps you out of the shadows. <laughs> Mood! <laughs> Always look on the bright side of I assume life. we must have put some sort of light source up in here. I'll presume you did, you paranoid fucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna get closer to it and just be like, mm. Well, Shimmer's cooking. <laughs> Shimmer cooked a while ago, so there's still a, uh, a somewhat low-lit fire, for lack of a better term, with rocks around it, log fire. And every now and again, if it gets a little bit low, um, Aeon Soul just looks at it and just moves a finger up and it just back up a little. Actually, uh, I went to say that I put a... Well, you haven't said that yet at all. Yeah, I know. I You're know. asleep. <laughs> Stay asleep. Yeah. Sit uh, by the fire and just sort of like. Mm. Uh. That's it. And at this, after a period of time, you all do rest. You wake up. Bratak is up as well. She's awake, but not standing. She is sat on one of the altar steps. And there's just Aeon Sol in front of her with the orb. <sighs> okay. That's for breakfast. Um, you guys watch as she... Like, something that you notice as well when you all start getting up is that she has been trying to do things with her hands, but whenever something tries to happen, it just fizzles out. That's comforting. You may never have appreciated him, but you can't deny the Archmage has capabilities in that regard, as Ansel is looking down at Bratak. Who's at this point almost gone to a sullen silence. Yeah, I can't I ain't having any of this anymore. I'm gonna tear off a bit of my sleeve. And I'm just gonna walk over and I'm just gonna tie it around as a gag. Well, she's not talked yet at all. She's not saying anything. I thought, I thought she no, just... No, that was Ansel. Uh, that was yeah, Ansel talking. Uh, I was gonna say, I guess I ain't having any of this. No mind poisoning going on here. <laughs> not having this. <laughs> just gonna gag your mum. Shimmer. What? It's my job. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm I'm the dad here. I do the mundane shit. <laughs> there's a strange demand eggs. There's a strange enjoyment in doing the mundane stuff. We don't have any food here. We have food supplies that we take with us. Yeah, but they're like dried rations and stuff. They're not stuff you're supposed to cook. Okay, I cook then them. Then suck it up. I, I know, warm I was... them over. I am a hunter. I hunt, therefore I am. If you want to you go hunt? outside, feel free. Go hunt. You go hunting? I go hunt. Let us know what if I you do. get scried on. 
I don't go hunting. <laughs> 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 oh, I had shit fair, motherfucker. Oh, I was waiting. I get, I get to the door and just sort of put my hand on. I'm like, I'm good with biscuits. I'll stick to biscuits and dwarf bread. Oh, boy. When are we making a move? We don't need to stay here any longer. Wait. Doesn't, uh... Buckley no create food or water? Probably. Uh, huh? <laughs> that's, that's one of those religious person spells, right? Yeah. Just makes a fucking burger and a soda cup. <laughs> Somewhere, so I was going, oh, McDonald's. This is the food of my people. <laughs> From the temple. <laughs> Diabetes. Cleric shit. Guanxi. <laughs> if you brain Guan cancer. Chi in the North Empire has definitely invented McDonald's to, to afflict his people with diabetes. I am not a follower of Lord McDonald. <laughs> I am the Lee. I am one of the He's leads of Burger King. He is the great, he is a great old one. There's word out of that. What's the name of the continent we're on? Oh, fuck it. That's a while back. Hang on, I have a note for that. It's for the world's best joke. <laughs> well, he's looking that up there. We need something. <laughs> we need something from Game Tea. We need something. You know what this cave needs? Candles. Absolutely not. That's a fire hazard. <laughs> Unless we can get someone to stay here and watch over it. We, ne we need proof. something. No, nope, fire does not watch. Fire burns to the grip. Fire is a purging tool. Fire is a last resort. We need, <laughs> we need something to stay here to watch over her in case something happens. Sail. S A O R. S A O R. Sayar Fried Chicken. That's going to be the new brand of fast food restaurant when Shimmer finally leaves the group in sort of 30, 40 years' time. SFC, sure. SFC. Anyway. Can anybody make something to stay here? Don't all shout out at once. Oh, I'm sorry. How many times do I have to say that I'm <laughs> totally inept at magic? I'm just going to go back to my corner. Let me know if I can contribute in any way! I'm looking like a knife, else. she cuts through the silence. Cut through you in a minute! I mean, I can bind a Celestial for like a day. <laughs> for a you day. See, that you started off so brilliantly. And then I you would do it. Yeah. And Grace. If... Scylla. Have you ever been able to remove corruption? That was something um, I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've, well, I got corrupted a while back. Damn, I really got corrupted and um, took a lot of effort, but I managed to fight it off, I think. With a bit of help. With a lot of fucking help. I had a question about that. We saw the corruption before affecting the land, and we've seen it before affecting people, and we traced it back to demons. There was a particular demon that came and sought after me, and we all managed to take it down, but we know that it's part of a group. Now, I don't know how the corruption works, I imagine it's a kind of plant the seed and it grows, but if we take out the source, is there a potential that we can undo what has been done? A weed's a weed. You take out one, there's gonna be more. You have to uproot them all. And you have to make sure you take up the roots, otherwise it'll grow back. That's a no. Yeah, that's called going to the plate, to the hells and to the abyss and trying to kill off whatever's trying to link in. Good luck. You'll run out of arrows a long time before you kill anywhere near enough of them. It's a good thing mine can turn into a sword as well, then. I could, buy, I could bind a fiend here and we can ask him what he's doing. Sorry, I'm gonna stop you right there. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Just gonna pause you right before you finish that whole sentence. Hold or, up! Or, or an <laughs> elemental, or a fae. 
Fiend was your first choice to tell us? <laughs> I mean, I actually started with the Celestial. Brooklyn, I feel like you need to just sit down and actually tell us all the things you're capable of, because you keep just pulling stuff out of the air, and I don't know whether to take you seriously. Begin fabricating it out of the air. <laughs> Let's save it for another day, because I'm not listening at the moment. Mixed Does anybody I, have I... anything that they can actually contribute? Can we leave the tree ants here, for example? Can we, like, turn this place into a mini sort of grove or glade? I'll I imagine there's not a lot of ever. water here. Yeah, there is fuck all water here. So if we I'll, leave the tree and see, we call the dead mountain there. for a reason, lad. Well, yeah, because it's made of rock. Uh... No, because it was a dwarven kingdom that got wiped out years ago. Yes. And all its inhabitants were either locked in rooms which they starved to death in, or they were slaughtered. This That's good news. At least the reason they killed people before here. So what you're saying is. There might be something valuable in those rooms. We've been here before, Shimmer. Did we not he make hasn't. that clear? Oh, we, we came here very briefly. Yeah, but we've still been here. We were also being attacked at a time. Now we have time to look around. I mean, I guess you can if you want to go see. Be careful if you go in that room. You may find a pile of mulch. It used to Pile be. of what? Mulch. It used to, be, used a to be a necromancer. It used to be a necromancer. I was trying to raise an undead troll. And it got turned into mulch by me, which is why I remember it. Hey, hey uh, so, so uh, how, how much water would you need? I'm not entertaining it because this is going to take weeks of progress. And for all I know, that fucker is still stomping about in my forest. Okay, well, instead of saying what we can't do, do you have any suggestions on what we can do? We've warded this place now from being spied upon. So technically, supposing that everything's gone to plan, no one knows that she's here, but we still need something to stay here just in case something does find us so we can at least get an inkling before someone just walks in and goes, oh, there's a person we're looking for. Can you guys make some sort of evil monstrosity being thing conjure out of nowhere that can just sort of hang about? Can we lure something? And so, so, and and so, and so just look at your narrow. You want to leave your narrow here? In the middle of nowhere? Would he be best suited elsewhere? Yeah, the dude did, needs like a legion of people that are sort of as badass as he is. He just like, killed like, the last, you know, last of that legion. He's so cool! <laughs> so, I, so I, cool. I mean, I, I can also protect this area from Celestials, Elementals, Fey, Fiend, and Undead. I mean, that would be useful. That's Nor good. Can you protect it from my father? No, you can't. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, can't protect it from dragons, but I mean, we know of, we've known of. That was that was you now talking. Ah. Uh. Or or can such creatures charm, frighten, or possess creatures within it? We've known of six dragons. Two of them are dead. One of them's there. One of them's there. And the other two are back at home. And there was you, another one that there was is still another alive. one that, that, got away. that got away, if you recall. The white, uh, I the forgot white about one. that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the white one. They're out there somewhere. Silla just goes. Hmm. Um, give me a minute. I'm gonna message him again. And he focuses for a second. Out a spell. And it's all right. Uh, he said, "Give me ten minutes." So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've been able to try and remove corruption before. I could try to remove it from her if you wanted. If you think it would work, you know much more about this than we do. We don't know how far gone she is, and we don't know whether it'll work. But anything's worth a shot. It's either we fix her, and then we take her home. Or we find some way of keeping us safe here until we can do it. That's, that's our options because we've got to go elsewhere. If we just sit around here, they're making they're making headway, whereas we're not moving. We we essentially need to be heading towards um, Rothaven. Rothaven. That was our next that was our next port of call. We wanted to see what the hell was going on down there, but we need to make sure that this asset that we've secured here. Sorry to refer to your mother as an asset, but at this point she is. We've got to make sure that this asset that we've secured here doesn't get taken off us. Otherwise, the whole thing was pointless everything we worked for. So we need some way of keeping us safe here. 
goal fixing you. So. Yeah, and still, like, as she's, like, um, leaning in, she's, she's, she's leaning away from him as he gets close. He ends up just going, if you have sense when this is done, you'll you'll understand when I say sorry for what I'm doing. And he just grabs her face and just, like, horses open her eye, and he's just intently looking in at it. And he rolls fucking very well, rolled natural 19. Ooh. And he's able to see just, like, the black lines that are just the very edges of her eyes of veins. Yeah, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. In fact, Scylla, he motions Scylla over, and it's just this very, very faint lines across the eyes there that he's now able to see. That looks a lot like that was on me. I could try to try a few things, but this is something that's happened to her over time. It's not, it's not superficial. It's definitely on the interior. And um, we're going to need to. Um, it's going to be a slow process, but I can. Return, I, I'll I'll leave one of the treants there as an actual tree, and I can pop back over as often as I can do. I'll leave all the treants here, but I'm going to turn one of them into an actual tree. I can pop over as often as I can. Is he going to need water? I mean, he's got a point. I mean, I yeah, the, he has got a point. Leave the tree and see without water. I'm actually effectively trying condemning to make sure them. that the tree survives. And uh. I feel you this time, Buckley. You're making sensible. Oh no! Sensible. It's almost like the druid wouldn't be able to create water. Oh no! It's like the players actually want to contribute something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 If you want to help, then you can go outside right now and start casting to create some pool of water and see if it can restrain itself. Is it safe for us to go outside? I'm worried the moment we leave protection we're going to get scried on and they'll know where we are. I mean, yeah. they would have to be scrying on us to know that we've left the place to know the exact moment that they could scry on us. It's, we've, had a, we've had a rest since now. If they're gonna very, I'm just saying up. he's very strong and I don't know what the capabilities of his magic is. If he was that powerful, he'd just know where we are anyway. <laughs> we can't live here forever. <laughs> Be outside the door like, fucker. <laughs> just a head appears, just like, please step outside, can't hear you. Let me in. <laughs> Let me love you. <laughs> With my fangs. <laughs> you see a head for Hey, Ali. Uh, if there's a lull in the conversation... Hang on, it's like this. Hey, Ali. Come down to the sewers. <laughs> Hi, Georgie. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead. Hi, Georgie. <laughs> what is happening? I was doing an it reference. I know. <laughs> and, he's, yeah. and he's too drunk to get it. Uh, I'm gonna Hi, Georgie. I don't watch you weeb or shit. And then walk outside. And then take care of making a small pool of water. Okay. Which you can definitely do. You can make you can make the space for it and the tree ends will more or less go on to it and you can even I'll say spending enough time doing it um, with enough spells you can definitely locate a um, a deep pool of water that you can like make space for up to where you have a pool and link them together using create water to fill it up so it essentially is just like constantly drawing the water up kind of thing for the trees so you can pull that off we'll say you'll have to use maybe a um, I'll say you can like augment a locate object spell for it as you're locating an object, which is for uh, you in this instance a pool of water, and you can I like can use... it, does, it, it does use a, a forked twig, which you I, I've been heard is good. Divining rod. Yeah, you okay? You can use a divining rod, and you can just like work Perfect. it, break it up. Divine done. rod direction. Divine rod direction. <laughs> Excellent. I can communicate with nature, and it specifically finds water sources and okay. other terrain well, features. You two Ooh. together then, with Grunt mutedly pointing like, mm, <laughs> mm, lower, mm, mm, kind of thing. As you actually move further, and they go, mm hmm. And then you know where your point is, you make that pool, link it up. There you go. Yeah, some happy treants. <laughs> Picture yeah. her sat on top of like some stone outcropping, just pointing down at the ground, and then when she finds it, just. Fucking hurls hell at it. <laughs> and the <laughs> buckle's just like, is it here? Is it twing? It's here. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna search around a bit. I really want to listen to what Shimmer's gotta do. I need to pee. <laughs> then go pee. 
Help contribute. Go help contribute to the water mass. Oh. Shall we take it right there then? <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Oh, 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 you better be fucking careful. Is all I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, let's uh, have uh, a quick. Let's have a quick break. We'll have a okay. quick. Remember to shop at Game Tea everywhere, everyone. <laughs> everywhere and everyone everywhere, shop everyone. at Game Tea.
We're back in? And we are. Excellent. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, people have taken a multitude of breaks. Um, you guys, um, I'll say Grunt and Buckley, you fabricate and create your um, wells and essentially a channel to connect to a deeper underwater well as well, um, like an underwater river kind of sort of thing, linking it up. Trees can drink for that quite happily. Um, Shimmer, give me investigation check. Uno más. While a lot of the, um, you can definitely see that a lot of these um, rooms, like say, a, a lot of the actual entry tunnels have been um, more or less buried, but completely caved in. The only ones that aren't are the ones that you followed everyone else into they seem to have such a knowledge of and uh, into the actual altar room. Besides that, um, which is not too difficult to say, there's the there's three other entrance. Yeah, there's three other entrances. One of which only goes to a single room, which has mulch more or less, the <laughs> remains of a rotting troll, and several skeletons and a very very mulched necromancer. Um, one of which, uh, one of the doors as well, um, one of the entranceways has a uh, sign in it which has Dwarvish common, and I think one other language that I'm forgetting, I'm going to say Elvish on it, and it pretty much says do not enter um, the deep access. Huh. And it's a really okay. shoddily left there sign kind of thing. Um, so as you guys are like doing that, the rest of you that are still in the altar room, um, Scylla does grab to uh, Bratok and does attempt to like pour a greater restoration into her. Um, Buckley, if you wanted to as well, you could perform spells like that to try and help. Yeah. Would you like to do that? Yeah. I'll use both. <laughs> Sorry, I was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Buckley, we are aiding this great dragon. What would you like to do? Yee. Yee. I do a yee. Yee. Uh, Greater restoration as well. So you sound a bit. You sound a bit quiet, Naren. Does he sound quiet to anyone else? Can you hear me now? Mm-hmm. How about now? I hear you. Also, I linked that because reasons. <laughs> Yee. Mm. Anyway, yeah, okay. it's a great restoration. Okay. Um, when you do perform these uh, on tour as well, um, it's almost like she is writhing in pain, but she's being basically restrained at the shoulders by a soul, like she's trying to resist the effects that are being performed on her because she isn't a willing creature so she is trying to resist it but it's basically it's more based on the actual thing itself that's doing it so nope not for Scylla not for you not for you actually basically I've compared it against your spell DCs if they, she wanted to resist it and the effects weren't um, successful um, her very pale skin seems to like have a little bit of color restored to it um, and one thing you notice as well is they say across, down the like sleeves of her, down her arms, like there was very, um, very pro like it's like someone who's been quite dehydrated. And the fact that the veins are quite prominent, kind of lessens out a bit in that regard. Um, and after this period of time, she's breathing heavily. But she's just looking away from everyone. She's not responding. Uh, she doesn't seem to want to give anyone satisfaction of a response as a um, Outside of where uh, the spells were cast, out in the hallway, uh, a flame erupts, and um, larger than normal flame. And you see, there is Merak, but next to him is a very large, heavy iron friend of his, as the golem has been brought. I heard we needed something that didn't need to sleep or eat, that needed to keep a watch on someone, that also couldn't be charmed. 
Very smart. You fit the bill. Yes, thank God it's it's not actually the Inkra because we just try to insult her for 90% of the time that it's here. Um, cool. So we have this. This will work excellently for this task. Um, I'm going to spend 10 minutes to perform a ceremony. Right. And I'm going Somebody's to getting married. No, and I'm going to try to do atonement for uh, rock, rock. Ratak. Ratak, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh... Alright, yeah, you know, wall attack, blah, blah, blah. You touch one willing creature whose alignment has changed. You make a DC 20 wisdom insight check. On a success, you restore the target to its original alignment. You need to make that insight check. Oh, yeah. Oh. I know. DC 20. Easy. 20 yeah. sides on a dice. Clues in the name. What's your wisdom? Should be good. Cast time is an hour. Oh. No. I have a plus eight. If you had naturally rolled that, you would have succeeded, funnily. Yeah. Anyway, you try to, um... You try to, like, cast out a spell and say, Repent! Repent! She just looks to you with a scowl. Shame! Shame! <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Buckley stands again, Yee! Yee! And she goes, No! No! <laughs> Nee, nee, nee. Try to make me go to rehab. I said, <laughs> no, 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 no. Dies from oh, I'm not gonna look. I start handing out plates. <laughs> um, Where do you get paper plates from? Fabricated them. <laughs> okay, I just imagine a plate. Uh, a plate is handed to Lamar, and she just immediately passes it to someone else. <laughs> Uh, Grunt she, comes in. For some, with... for some reason, you pass it to the golem. <laughs> <laughs> you are, he's more likely to eat it than she is. <laughs> uh, Grunt's gonna come in with some water and um, offer it to Dragon Lady. Oh. She does not um, partake of your watery offer. <laughs> she leaves it there for her and just goes to. Uh, Druid friend and uh, shows him the horn and says, well, basically points out there seems to be a crack here. <laughs> you use it too here? many times. She just sort of. I only head, expected like... you guys to be using it at least, like, say, once to give us a big call out, not, you know, constantly using it. Hang to on to fair. it, just don't use it too many times at once. To be fair, she did only she use not. it once. It was just for about five solid minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she got. Hell of a long capacity. I was quite aware she was more or less deafening me with it. Anyway, um, listen, I've got to head back. I'm, I've got to be going back. There's no way I'm going to leave that forest for as long as it is. For all I know, he's done some serious damage. Sound. Thanks for the help. Uh, thank you for the help as well. Um, on the plus side, I now know there's going to be a lot more mulch added to my forest soon because a lot more uh, Distunians are going to try and come to uh, pick a fight. Ooh, I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes. To add to my men my list of ever-growing good ideas. That sending stone he gave us, Aeon Soul. We obviously don't need it anymore because the Silver Dragon's been taken care of. So do you want to give yours to Scylla in case something happens at the forest? Because we've got Buckley, who can message him and tell him where we are, and he can potentially open up a tree so we can get to him. Probably won't be the fastest response, but it'll be faster than any other response, maybe. Silla so says, well, actually, I can contact... I can't contact any of you, but I can contact Merak whenever I need to. And he can contact any of you. So, if anything, you two keeping the stones is the best idea. You're the only two that can actually make contact with another party. His voice towards you and Ansel. Okay. As long as we all know, we all have a backup plan on who to phone. So is it like a brotherly thing that connects you to that you're commu able to communicate? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. oh my god, is that thing about twins true? Well, they're not twins. <laughs> That's, I was joking. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> we're for a flashback to earlier when I said you look nothing like each other. <laughs> no, one's clearly older than the other. One's got a beard. 
That's how you could tell. <laughs> this is why I don't get involved in conversations. Yeah, you're not that great at it. <laughs> lack, of, lack of practice. You know what I'm good at? Stabbing people! Yes. You, you should stab out. You are quite friends. edgy. I'm gonna go outside if we're 100% sure it's safe. It's not. It's nowhere safe. Uh, actually, yeah, did I get anything from my detect magic while I was out? You were focusing on doing other shit in the meantime, lad. <laughs> so, make a port of call? Shit, we don't have the wagon anymore. Oh, it's back at the I... forest. And your crew! They'll be fine. <laughs> you left them alone in the forest! <laughs> they're, they're basically forest people, they'll be fine. Better leaving them there than it is in a town. They leave him in a town. Oh, they're like, why? Oh, poor up there. We should probably the go back. The fighting game. is alone. <laughs> so, uh, can we go back to the forest with you? We no, should... no, no. That is that is. By the time he takes us back there, we get the cart and then we come all the way back down. We'll have lost time. We should we may as well just head out from here. Okay. Well, can you tell? We we'll head to New Grove and we'll get a new cart. It's probably quicker to go straight to Duskhaven, I think. How about I just kick out a portal through another tree and let them all come back to you guys here? If this you can do that, effective. I didn't want to burn you out necessarily. I don't know what you're going back to. Ah, oh, this isn't burning me out. Cool. Did you're supposed yeah. to thumb down when a tree steps in. This is, get the fuck out! Another tree opens and they all fall out. Where? The wonderful world of Das. Dash would be the kind of guy that would invent portal guns just to have one next to the fridge so we could grab a fucking beer. <laughs> I mean, that that's basically... You wouldn't? All the gods would be looking down just going, this is a terrible waste of the great power we have blessed your mortal kind with. <laughs> the acquisition of mental vegetating drinks. <laughs> Says that has my rules. Literally, po literally poisoning that yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Yep. When you think about that, like, if any other like, alien race looked at us, it's like, you literally poison yourself yeah. for fun. What Routinely the fuck? Routinely poison yourself. We are So you actually made a comment fun. about that on, uh, Star Trek one time. <laughs> anyway. Don't mess with humans, they fuck each other up. Think what they'll do to you. <laughs> do, I to... Well, do, do I have to have, uh, special tools to make carts? To make carts. Yeah. Well, you need yes. wood for one. I can make a stone cart. This isn't the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the Flintstones. One does not simply fabricate a wagon. <laughs> you got to make sure you got the meme face right, didn't you? <laughs> I'll, I'll I think I nailed the wagon it. Push it with my feet, will I? He just said yeah, he's going to send them our way. It's fine. Well, yeah, but I, I, I meant as in... As, as you guys are talking this, I fear Mug Mug and Jonathan step in this. What the fuck is this place? Hi. It's a dead mountain. Anyway, uh... Who the fuck is she? It's your doom! A lot's happened since we last spoke. We'll tell you about it on the way back. Galgaron, the, the not half bad crew enough there, the not half crew, bad crew enough there, this is Mrs. Galgaron. <laughs> Bertoxi's more offended, not by the introduction, but the fact you referred to her as Miss Galgarant. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a reason I faked my death. For death do us part. That's dark. Sounds like you need counselling. That's heresy. That is the last thing I need. That just, heresy? Proves, that just proves you need it. You're one to talk. Acceptance is the first step, and I backflip out the door. Make <laughs> <laughs> no acrobatic check. I was joking. Make an acrobatic check, you fuck. <laughs> Watch me roll a one. This is where I she really fucking nails roll it. One. <laughs> fucking nails it. Standing backflip. <laughs> yep, standing backflip. Up the door. <laughs> no, no, no. St standing backflip. 
out the door with a moonwalk. And the finger guns. <laughs> Should we put a door on? Oh yes, I'm sure a door will help immensely, not the magical reinforcements. <laughs> I'm just thinking if you could just walk in. Protected against being spied on. People could still just walk in. Um, There's a giant golem to, in here. To explain, actually, as you guys are all like stepping out, um, Mira, Aeon still hands the uh, stone to the golem, which has just enough intelligence to function it, and just focuses it at Bertok and just keeps it focused on her. Um, and so uh. that beast will hold her. A Scylla will return off in. Merok, have you got it covered with a, um, a spell? And he says, I, yeah. Um, Scylla, fuck. <coughs> Scylla's gone. Merok goes, yes. <coughs> there is an alarm spell. Once that golem takes any form of an attack, I will be aware of it. Um, the golem is under my entire command, and he steps out and as you all step out he goes he just snaps his finger and the golem literally parks itself in front of the door that works try moving several tons don't do it grant he was joking let's go it is a figure of speech grant, was it, grant just sort of shakes his head like what i wasn't paying attention <laughs> <laughs> now new grove is that away I mean, I just look at you all. So, about having, like, working with an arc mage. Sometimes it's just too easy, you know? Fine, I'll just go back to myself. Fuck yous. You can walk if you want. Yeah, I don't mind. Please don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you. Oh, no, no, you can play with your friends. By all means. No, 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 please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Because I, like I we've been we've want. been traveling for weeks, please. I need somebody else to talk to. I want to say this. To say if the fate of the world wasn't at stake right now, I would deliberately walk home, just to spite you. But we have places <laughs> that we need to be on your behalf. So I will take that lift and I will shut up. Miracle, ah. can I can I get that in writing for the whole shutting up part? No. <laughs> Last time I put pen to paper, bad things happened. I will never write you on last the pirates team. again. <laughs> you last teeth last time. <laughs> to dis to, to <laughs> Dusk Haven. I was about to say, trying to go down. <laughs> Why is it with you and Patterson everywhere being called a fucking D place? Dusk Haven, Distown, Deer, Dale, Dweer. Can we go somewhere else, please? There's not yeah, even that right many places that begin with D. The only place that I know that begins with D is the fucking Dudley. Dudley? The Dudley. What about Dublin? Shut up. It's basically <laughs> the same. Dublin's not a real place. <laughs> All a bunch of, you know, half awful -like people. <laughs> Go on, Das, to you, that's a compliment. You love being an orc. <laughs> Wrong. Pretty sure Dublin is a real place. Australia isn't real, but Dublin's real. Australia's definitely not real. You're a figment of our imagination. Oh, talking about know it. I, I learned the other day, apparently Birmingham is the uh, murder capital of the UK. That's not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> That's very surprising. I know some real shitholes. You've yeah. been to Newcastle? <laughs> they, they maim, they don't kill. That's what the thieves can't just to be able to get secret messages across to each other. Woo wee woo 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 all in all, the place is on the repair, on the slow, progressive repair. <sighs> Merrick looks to all of you as Aeon Souls with him. You're probably going to want to go back to... Yeah, you, you know what? You and Gennaro just go back to... Do you want me to just send you? And he just looks... Yeah. He just snaps his finger and they both... <laughs> okay, they're sent to um, New Grove, so they're fine. 
blue in hindsight, I have a feeling that if we'd chosen to play like wizards and sorcerers, we could probably be travelling amongst this continent a hell of a lot faster than we currently you are. You fucking could be. You chose <laughs> all the guys that don't. And one, don't the only person of you who has the opportunity to just says, I like fire instead. Not taking teleporting. Considering oh. how much magic is prevalent in this campaign, we are very a non magic based party in comparison. You are. I mean, I, I have D door. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I like oh, a little that's, fiery that's dragon. <laughs> that's good for like two people. Don't dish Fire Shimmer. Hungry. He's the only one who cooks. <laughs> Do not bite the hand that feeds. Don't worry. I, I can give us food. It's not a contest, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit buy in. But... My sausage is bigger than his. Runch's sausage is probably bigger than both of his combined, so shut up. Yep. Confirmed. <laughs> Chat. Oh, Where Goliaths. <laughs> Goliaths. Excuse me, I had the biggest sausage. <laughs> Pull out a lot of growers. When we're done with I this. I walk off. <laughs> so what do you all want to do as Marcos? Right. I'm going, going to go up back to the boss to make sure he's alright. Um, do you need anything? Who's, what did you do with the sword, Alistair? I'm holding on to that. Are you going to give it back? We did no. say we did say uh, that we point. would. It's not ours. I never said that I would give it back. I said that I would wanted it from Aeon Soul. We've still got a white dragon out there. Before he gave it back to you, when Aeon Soul originally gave it to us. I know there's still a white dragon technically, out there. Technically, he said we should give it back once we killed his mother. As far as I'm aware, his mother's still alive. I'm sure. So if you really want to call technicalities, I'm, sure, I'm holding on to the sword. I'm sure he'll definitely see it that way when he finds out you have it. I pat him on the shoulder and walk away. <laughs> Mark, who is still standing there, by the way. Um, you do bring up a good point that there is still, you know, that white dragon that somehow survived or at the attack he threw at us at Dust Cave. And, and I don't know how many others of those kind of creatures that... <laughs> <sighs> himself has, so I'd actually rather prefer if you did, in fact, um, keep that for yourselves. Hang on to it for the meantime, as well. Honestly, you're one of the few groups I... I do agree with. Hang on, so you're one of the few groups uh, I genuinely look at and say, you have no ulterior moments instead of fucking with Guanxi. If we wanted to kill Galgrond, we'd have done it by now. This sword is going to be used to put down a white dragon at some point. I mean, yeah. I mean, That's so anything, reassuring. I mean, I mean, if anything, we would have hit him at his weakest when he was up in the tower, you know, before he ever actually, you know, got the healing or anything. Just putting it as bluntly as it is. <laughs> yeah. This is the hymn that we're singing, whether the words make sense or not, is what it is. Grant's gonna so, yeah. tap Shimmer on the shoulder and um, ask him if uh, those um, her and him can say, just go somewhere and leave the kids alone for a while. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. <laughs> Her and Shimmer are just going to go for a stroll. <laughs> you kids have fun. Oh, they're bonding. Okay. Well, we have a small bratty daughter we have to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> I stealth. <laughs> I'll check. What I miss? As Merak was talking to you all and looking, it was like the camera panned over slightly, like, say, your group is lined up. He looks over towards one side where Dale is and looks back and goes, what the fuck? She does that. It's like Batman. When you're talking to him, you turn away, you look back. It's like, where the fuck you go? Bye. Oh, he's just hiding in the dumpster like, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. So where are you lot actually planning to move to next? Where is your next port of call, your next activity? I know exactly where dell has gone, so I go to the place where Dell has gone to. <laughs> okay. Uh... I've missed you, Das. So Dell, feel free to tell him where you've gone to, but I've said where I'm going to in chat. Okay. Dude, my knowledge we're going to Rod Haven. Next. Annoyingly, she's probably going to pick somewhere really obscure now. Just to fuck I'm not going to pick something obscure. The moment I said I stealth, I had an idea of where I was going to go, and I will commit to it. Dead. I think Broadhaven has a lot of undead, which need to be cured. 
No, Rawhaven doesn't have an undead. It has a lot oh. of pirates. Yeah, it was a pirate pirates place where we, the, where we thought the where we thought the. Uh, the devils were well, devil worshippers, not the devil. All devils, every devil's in Ross. I no, where we thought that there was devil worshipping going on because it's probably didn't. some sort of devil worship. But Rothaven is, if I'm going to make any sort of a guess, Rothaven is where slaves are being brought in for the economy up in the north for Guanchi. As well as that, it is his port of call for all of his major contacts. If he has anyone coming in off of this continent from the east, I'll bet you any money that they're coming through Rothaven first. If they're not, it's because he's making sure they're being very hidden and taking them up somewhere hidden. Hey, hey guys, I, I know how we can get to Rothaven. We don't We don't need to buy a car. Oh. Buy a, a boat. boat. We can use the boat. We don't have the boat. Yes. We get to ask a friend if we can use his boat. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to need to pull some uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and just steal a bit. Commandeer. Commandeer. <laughs> Merrick looks to all of you, um... Mayor of town? <laughs> it's are... more fun if you let us steal one. Yeah, it, it's more fun this way for us. It sails faster if we nick it. No, it sails faster if it's red. If it's what? Red. I, I didn't realize Well, we'll run over some jellyfish then. <laughs> <laughs> Del Mar comes out of cells, tells him to go. Ah! <laughs> now that was me speaking. <laughs> okay, uh, Alistair, you go to the guild hall, and you spend multiple times like going, "Hmm, Del Mar, where are you?" And Del Mar is not there. It's not no. where I went. Okay. Bad guess. Well, to... What was my, what was my second have a choice? Picnic at the pier. My second choice would be to our actual old house. Okay, you go there. She's not there. I go to well, we can always go to my house. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you have a house. You guys, I mean, you guys are about like trying to walk up while you're still having a conversation with Merrick. <laughs> like, Buckley, you're no, just I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go. Uh... So like, Merrick's like, okay, I'm bye, bitch. <laughs> God, this is so rude. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um... Trying to save the world. Yeah, like, everyone else, I'm going to presume, most of you guys are fucked off. It's pretty much just Buckley left for fucking Merrick. <laughs> So, Me yeah, and Chipper so... just need a break. We've been with the kids far too long. That was weeks. So you have plans to go to Rothaven. I can... I'll see if I can commission a small, quick ship for you guys. Um, something that I don't think was fully explained to you guys before with your ships is... Um, you're going to need to take about 100 gold in a small chest. And once you leave the actual bay, you're going to need to dump it. Oh, right, for the, uh, the the creature out there. You've got to pay tribute when you go out into open water. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Galgron right. told me, or the boss told me about this time where you uh, didn't, and he jumped in to save you from a dragon turtle. Yeah. So, uh, do remember, do actually do that, because otherwise you are going to be shipwrecked somewhere up the coast. Also, why is there just a dragon turtle hanging out here? Oh, that wasn't just a dragon turtle. That was something that got called upon. Oh, me. Yeah, me. ships that don't pay, die. So ships just pay. Right, right. So it was less of a thing of, it was the. He just kind of came in when there was no money coming into the ocean. They were aware that. Listen, I'm not sure how the actual fucking terror that it is right. operates. He was important as a tax collector. <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah, the drag is basically a tax collector. You don't pay your tax, the tax is your ship. The bailiffs are coming. Hide the platforms from the screen. <laughs> well, <laughs> dragon orb. Right, so, okay, so... You don't have the dragon orb. Well, actually, he has the dragon orb, and he's not letting anyone else have that dragon orb. Right, right. Uh, uh, alright, yeah, so... So listen, gold. um, just a hundred gold, small chest, chuck it in. And, uh, get another chest for with another hundred, and you can chuck that on your way out. Because I imagine if you do, even if you go close to Rodhaven, like, I definitely wouldn't recommend going to port. I mean, that, that, that seems the more fun way, though. You know, you it will be fun, port. but you're probably going to have every gun... In the city, trained on you. 
True, and true. they don't have like say the kind of um uh, crescent moon style port that we have like bay but they still have enough where there is just interlocking fields of cannon fire so if they chose to drop a ship they could very easily drop a ship right so what do you actually intend to do when you get to rot haven what what is your plan well seeing as uh uh, nobody else is here. It's just me. Um, hmm. You have no idea. <laughs> nope. I mean, none of you have an idea. None of us know what we're doing. I beg to differ. Excuse me, I always have a plan. And you I have a off. very good you're, idea. Yeah. You're also intoxicated. Well, that is the best time to come up with a plan. I have an excellent idea what to, to do. Come with plan. It's just nobody will like it. <laughs> you're going to set fire to a whole fucking city, aren't you? <laughs> Yes. I mean, I see, mean, the difference between my plan and Shimmer's plan is that my plan ends with Shimmer's plan. Well, you're not here to discuss this plan, so do you return at some point? No, you fuck off, that's fair. I go to the library in the. Okay. Because I actually need to do some plan. Alright, you can go to the library. Um. Uh, yeah, no. Merrock, Buckley's talking. Well, listen. What I know of that city is that there's at least seven families that rule over it. Each one dictating different affairs in the city. Each one trying to kill the others without making it look like they're killing the others so that they can rise to prominence. Pretty much a nasty game of cat and mouse. Right. Except it's all, it's all the cats and they've got cutlasses and pistols. So... I'd recommend if you're going to do this, if you go there, go to taverns, try to find information that you can, see which family is probably going to be the most lenient to let people work with them. And it's like, ooh, look at these lovely people coming in that are actually useful. Let's direct them at this target for us. And they'll probably direct you at a means of eliminating a threat for them one of the other families or to even even if you wanted to you'd really only need to kill seven people to turn that city upside down heads of each family because each family the idea of like trying to rise to the top works in the families as well but whenever there's someone ruling you don't eliminate them can't kill your own but when that spot is vacant you can kill your own to try and take it so I'd recommend at the very least, taking out the seven. Yeah, get in, kill the seven. Get out. Get out. Absolutely get out. The city burn. The city will burn itself, but knowing... But knowing your lot, you could definitely help along the kindling. Oh, I mean, with Shimmer alone, I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Oh yeah, that city's gonna be literally an ash pile when you lot are done. But do remember, you guys encountered a pirate from that city before, Hammock. He's one of the, um, he was one of the higher tier members of one of the seven families. I think his family has a lot more to do with, uh, what was it? No, they weren't, no, they weren't the Cannon family. There, there is a family de specifically designed to working on gunpowder. Uh, I, don't, I, don't think, I, I think they did a lot of... That potions actually I think his family had a lot to do with potions I don't I don't think I, I, was, I think I was Murag whenever you were that's why he's thinking of it like in regards to the group he's referring to it as the group when you got did it as the group I'm sorry who, who is this uh, this hammock uh, pirate lord when you weren't there the rest of them kind of took his head but left the head like, they, they took his head off, but then left it there. Right. Uh, very bad idea, by the way, because... Um, yeah, I prefer at least knowing that one part of the body isn't there so it can't grow back or can't be healed or fixed. Because it's a, it is a dirtbag city, but they have the money to buy what they need. And there's definitely stra slave trade. There's definitely rare and exotic things and creatures there. So... Yeah, his family was one of the ones that had a lot to do with our alchemy. Correct. There's right. one family that does all the trade that you want with beasts and monsters, and it's a nasty crew, that one. Um, they don't actually like to refer to themselves as 
it's a family name it's whatever house is ruling over beasts or it's like the the beast the house of beasts the house of cannons the house of poultices the house of swords the house of whatever so you will probably will find this out in taverns try to get your group to like don't spread out but in the same building fan out to try and find information that's probably your best bet i want to say but no matter what you do, do not say you're from the city. So tell everyone we're from the city. If Got you it. want the whole city to attack you, like, I'll give you my symbol right now. Oh, okay, cool, cool. And you can just walk in there and go, hello, pick a fight, please. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds it's like not fun. good. That's a terrible idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, maybe. But, um... Yeah, that's going to be one thing that will um, be useful for us as well. Because I'm convinced that I remember people talking about slave trade inside this town. No doubt there's slaves being brought in overseas from through Rot Haven, So that's going to cut off that place as well. Yeah. This is going to hurt them all, more or less. So I want the city taken out. That's my next priority. As much as I hate having to burn down a city... Um, Doing damage to the upper tier is probably your best bet. Listen, right. talk to them. That's my suggestion. And I'm going to go now and take care of Galgorond. Okay, okay. I'm going to go get the uh, the chest and the money ready for the... Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll send word to the dock as well that they'll be expecting you to prepare a light, uh, fast ship for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Please don't Thank die. You. I uh, will try not to. Again. No, no promises. Though. Uh, and then I'm going to watch uh, to my forge. Take the anvil out of its place, and borrow a little bit from there. Okay, mark off that you've taken out two hundred. And then, nice and gingerly, place the anvil back. Okay. Alistair, what are you doing? Uh, I'm heading to the library to uh, get hold of maps of the region. Uh, any stories that tell of Rot Haven and basically any information about the Rot Haven area. Okay, make an investigation check then. Because the actual... Thankfully, it's one of the few buildings that wasn't heavily damaged was, in fact, the library uh, during the attacks. Um, not your forte looking through the books and through the details. Um, rather than just being, like, labeled, say, um, you, you, you try to look through, like, say, our sections for Rot Haven and all these details, but you don't really find it. You find, like, things about beast areas like Remoraz and Rakshasa, but you don't see anything like that. Fine, I shall do what I always do in this situation, and I go back to the guild hall and I shall go and consult my notes. Okay, you go and consult the notes. Uh, who else is doing what? Uh, Blue, you said you're going somewhere, aren't you? What exactly are you doing when you get there? Uh, well, when I get there, I want to, like, before I even go into the building, I just want to, like, essentially do a perimeter check and just be like, is there anything out of Perception place? Perception checks. Okay. Go on. Go on. Do, 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 do. Go on, G. <laughs> hey. He's around the corner. Hello. <laughs> Boom. Oh, God, I rolled a 1 and got an 11. <laughs> you rolled a natural 20, or you got a 30. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Don't see anything. Looks good. Looks fine. Looks okay. good. I'm going to go up to the front door and knock. Knock. Stabbed. Um, no response. You wait for a minute. Nothing. Does it appear to be locked? You test the handle and it uh, seems to be locked. Okay, I'm going to try and pick the lock. Okay. Uh, make a stealth and slide a hand check. One is to do it quietly, one is to actually do it properly. Okay. 
Um, quite a difficult lock. Uh, she seems quite paranoid and seems to have bought a very good uh, front yeah, door I lock. Figured. You managed to. There's like several different ways you have to in, up, in, out, there, twist, that one, next, next, next. The okie dokie lock. <laughs> out you go. Okay. Uh, and um, you open it up, and it uh, seems to be a bit dusty in here. Um. Before I step in, I'm just going to do a cursory glance for traps, possible traps. Okay, this is going to be an investigation check. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Um, from looking around in the unlit interior, doesn't appear to be trapped. But what you oh. do know is that um, it's a very simple room. It's um, got a fireplace. Um, it's essentially like a living room and a kitchen in one. Um, got a fireplace. Seems to got seems to have like that's where you know kettle is cooked, where a pot will be boiled, so on, so on. Um, there's small counter for like cooking upon, and it is. It's not for her height. It'd be say for a normal person. So there's actually is a um, a step ladder that she uses, like a small like two step ladder that she uses to be up at proper presenting. Okay. And I want to scream really ri loudly right now because Fook looks like he's asleep. <laughs> Everyone take off your headsets. No, don't! You'll deafen the stream! I want to do it so bad. <laughs> Should we end here? <laughs> Should we end here? I feel like... Okay, oh, really <laughs> well, the best part is we can keep going because his character doesn't know where you are, so he doesn't know what's going on. So we can continue for the hilarity of this. I kind of want to. I kind of want to continue now, just because. He might just be putting it on. No, he's not smirking. He'd be smirking if he was. You can't hide that for shit. <laughs> Andrew. Oh, bless him. Andrew. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Alistair Dartwood. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Stop it! If that, if that all came up. I'm tense enough as it is. Don't do that, please. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to end or keep going? I'll keep going quite happily because this RP doesn't involve him, funnily. So that Earthkeeper bird, we can just throw that away, right? Right. Well, yeah. I'm, be I'm being told that I need to be quiet anyway, so. Do you want to leave it there? Sure, we can leave it there on a Let's cliffhanger. We'll find out what I find next session. I'll just describe the room as you entered. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So you entered in. Um, it's dusty. Seems like she was mid preparing something, but seems like there's a little bit of blood on the floor. The table in the middle of the room was knocked over entirely to its side, and um, a very small shape appears to have been actually like broken into the chair into the table itself as if like, it was on its side and it's like a, a, a marking is in and it's pretty much about the size of her like torso Shit. so she seemed to have gotten got it well that answers one question in this room anyway that's there is a small stairway that leads. It's less of an actual, like, say, staircase and just like a uh, actual ladder upwards into the next floor. Wakey, <laughs> 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 a sleepy head. Hello. Welcome you, were, back to you were out for a bit. <laughs> You were out for a good long bit. You're right there. You're okay, hon. Dartwood, you were like this. As a deep state of contemplative meditation. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Sure. I was just resting my eyes, ignoring the fact that they snore. I was plotting and scheming. <laughs> we're just wrapping up now, anyway, Spokes. It's fine. Um, before I go up to the ladder. To learn how Rothaven works, you must act like one of its locals. <laughs> I was, I was pretending I was asleep in a hammock. Hey. Uh, before I go up the ladder, uh, I just want to examine this room, mainly looking for possible papers. Uh, you already had an investigation check for okay. the room. Okay. Um, so, I'll any, go up the ladder. Any um, 
papers were like say thrown off of the table and there's more like more like there was like glasses of like say maybe perhaps water or something that was there that have just been spilled over and a broken glass atop them so anything like that is pretty much ruined yeah okay I'll, I'll cautiously go up the ladder examine it for traps on the, on okay. the way um you probably it's hard to trap a ladder <laughs> so I'll say you'll, you'll like make an investigation have you seen check. me with ladders <laughs> I'd say you can make an investigation check for like the stair, like the airway. Yeah, the, the entrance. Yeah. I could think of at least three ways to trap a ladder. Seems good. Okay, I'll cautiously go up the ladder. As you make your way up the ladder. Uh, we're gonna leave it there. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! I mean, I knew this was gonna happen when I came here, but still. <laughs> what? What's going to happen? Exactly. We'll find out next time, guys. <laughs> What's the first part is I could just be like, you walk up and, then and there's go. nothing there. <laughs> I could just make you anxious for a month. God, I knew that's what you were gonna say, you dumb fucking horse. <laughs> Remember to shop at Game Tea, luxury for gamers. Now offering flat rate shipping to our customers worldwide. I don't need. I, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> how often do you browse the website, Nemo? It's his homepage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This show is sponsored by Game Tea. It has to be done. <laughs> You're true. This is correct. This is correct. Right. Alison needs to go to bed, so take care, everybody, and we'll see. He's already been to bed. He <laughs> needs to go to bed night. again. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.